there and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 4. Today we're continuing on with Let's Play. This is episode 156. In today's episode, oh, we are taking a look at a, another endurance race. Of course, we finished the extreme events out last time, finishing that awful Formula GT Championship. I've uh, gone and gotten all golds on that, so that is done. Now, that took three days. And also something else that I needed to wipe out, the Roads to 4 Hour Endurance. I went back and got the trophy for that because for some reason I didn't have the trophy for it before. Anyways, uh, today we are doing the El Capitan 200 miles. For that we need a car, more specifically we need a road car. And we're going to head over to the UK and buy ourselves a Jaguar. Oh god. And we're buying the S-Type R. Because it's a weird car I don't think anyone's probably ever used in a Gran Turismo Let's Play before. No, they haven't. Do I want white or green? Green. It's a jag. It has to be in green. Yeah, I agree. British Racing Green. Hell yeah, let's go. Yeah. I'm not going to confirm whether this will be our last ever jag in this game or not. But it might be. Because <laughs> there's one that's sort of up in the air at the moment. Also, it's the 1st of February now. So we're out of January, finally. I think January it's is probably the longest month we've ever done in this LP, considering it took us at least three real life months to get through it. I should have checked if it was sports tyres or not. Oh, you'll find out. Oh, well. uh, I'm going to go find out quickly. Is it sports tyres or not? I hope it isn't. But I have a sneaking suspicion it probably will be. Yeah, it's normal sports. Alright, so we're stuck with the normal tyres, which means we'll have to put it on normal hards. As far as actual competitiveness goes, I think we should be okay. I shouldn't have to do too much to the Jag. Realistically, no. we've got a decent amount Half of time. Four hundred five horsepower is quite a lot. So, as long as an M5 or something doesn't show up, I should be all right. I'm gonna take some weight out of this bitch. Jesus Christ! Yeah, hey, definitely take some weight out of oh. it. I need to turn this down even more, or I need to turn you up. I'm not sure which one. I don't know either. Yes. Turn you up because Elgato turns you down by default. There we go. Have some really irritating. Hey noises that you can't hear. Anyways. I'm never going to sing. God, I remember the weight reduction takes forever to install in this game. Uh, yeah. Suspension. It takes a long time to take seats out of a car, you know. Yeah, true. Everything takes a long time to do in this game. I don't know why it has an in-progress bar. Like, surely it's not hard to just... Saving data. I guess. Nah. Anyways. Oh yeah, it does, because it was. We'll go Sam Crack. We'll stick some nitrous on it. It's just in oh, case. Well, there was Junior. The fuck? Jeez. Although I'm not sure what one minute of nitrous we're going to do in a two hour race. Um, I just wanted to do it to go Sam Crack. <laughs> He's a guy who bought a salvage jag. I think it was a salvage jag. I don't know, he put nitrous on it. It was stupid. That sounds amazing. And I think he sold it, <laughs> sold it at Copart. Uh, oh. anyways, racing brakes to stop this bitch. I'm over-preparing, by the way, because I haven't driven this game in a while. You said that last um, episode. Yeah, well, it's still true. <laughs> yeah. It is still true, is it not? It, it, yeah. it doesn't make a difference. Last episode was about two months ago. No, last episode was only about two, three weeks ago, I think. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. I don't know. So uh, bad, isn't it? Listen, we're gonna get through it by the end of this year. I know that much. I think even the YouTube oh, audience oh. will probably finish this off because realistically, there's only like 20 more episodes to go for the YouTube people. Damn. So, speaking of YouTube, it's fucking gay. Did we hit a yeah, thousand we... subs in the Formula GT? I have no idea. Yeah, well, we, we hit a thousand subs. Yeah, I know. I need to do something for that. In case you're wondering, you've probably already done something by the time you uh, watch. There's it. a timestamp for you all. Oh, it is boy. currently the 12th of November, 2018. So this will probably go up in uh, two weeks, a while. I don't know, maybe December yes. time. Anyways, uh, 481 horsepower, 489 foot pound of torque. That should be enough to get us through. Also, 98.6% completion. Expect that to go very slowly, because there's still about 50 hours of this game left. Then again, uh, most of that's wrapped up in one endurance race. Anyways, El Capitan, 200 miles, 250 grand is the prize. Number of laps, 66. Let's go. Yay. 
El Capitan, of course, a track that showed up in this game and in none of the other ones, I don't think. That's a game. Did it show up in any other game? No. Ground Truth Mode PSP does not count. Anyways, what do we got? A Motorsport Elise, SL65, Cerbera, the Supercharged Series 1. Eh. I'd, I'd be scared of that Motorsport Elise. Mm, I don't think it'll be that much of an issue. Well, you do have, like, more than twice his power. But, as we learned from Gran Turismo 3... Yeah, yeah. At least I don't have to drive with nanny aids this time around. Because <laughs> I'm not driving a stupid shit car. I'm driving an actual proper road car. One of the last two road cars we're ever going to drive in this game, by the way. Oh. Because there's only one more normal endurance after this one. 115 points, let's go. Oh, actually, no, there's two more cars. 172. Fuck. The Jag might be outclassed. We'll find out. Yeah, it's Hammer Sport the least. You reckon? Yeah, it, it, it is. It is that mode Sport the least. I'm trying to get this thing off the line is interesting. Do you want to know why? Why? Because I stuck this on B spec one time in an RX7 LM car. Hmm. And the fucking Motorsport Elise was on its tail the entire time. Well, the Motorsport Elise looks like it's being caught in traffic right now, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> Man, yeah, the SL65, it's not something to worry about, really. Yeah, I know the SL wasn't going to be an issue. Ironically, the car I was most scared about is probably the TVR. Mm -hmm. Well, the Elise, obviously, but the TVRs. I just realised there's a lot of British cars in this race. Sure are. So we're doing this right at least. God, this it's thing's taking... heavy. It's a Jaguar. It's quite nice to drive something with some weight behind it for a change though. Bleh. I actually feel like yeah. I'm having to drive it. Yeah, it's almost like it's a real car. Oh, Lighter than your car. Mm. Which you might not have by the time this episode yeah, comes Yeah, by the time this episode goes out, I might actually have a new car. And it's not just a oh, figure of speech. You've been no! out for six months now. It's not just a figure of speech Holy this shit. time. Listen, it's actually <laughs> gonna happen because fucking hell, I'm bored. And also, as a yeah, one, it's gonna go to, yeah. It's yeah, not that exactly. I want it, it's more that I can't deny the, that vice. Yeah. What, I want to quit this for Super Root. Mm. You could trade it in and have some bullshit car dealer make money, or you could trade it to me and I'd be happy. I think I know what I'm getting. I'd pay you a ten or more. 500 quid. Mm. I'd pay you 510 and like, a packet of Rizzlers. Ha. Huh. What? Rizzlers are like currency. Not in my world, they're not. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks to that news story that's like, a, a fight aside in a chippy because someone tried to pay with Rizzlers. <laughs> that actually happened. That actually happened. <laughs> Jesus. Well, the motorsports at least has broke out from the. Uh, it's like shadow my actual favorite. Jesus Christ! This is a. Uh, it's a bit of a different car to drive than the uh, the last thing I drove on this game. I think my favorite quote from. I think Where my favorite are you even driving? Was like uh, a Jaguar S Type R. Oh, <coughs> I think my favorite uh, is that the good one or the bad one? Like, it's that one. It's... Yeah, it's heavy. That doesn't oh. help. Please. Did you see I think it? My favorite. Fuck. Well, it's got a 400 horsepower supercharged V8. So you tell me. Oh, it's a Jaguar. Yes. Oh shit! It's a proper Jag yeah. too. It's in green. It is in green. Is it? It's British race. I kind of want to buy a Jaguar S Type R. Um, I can't. They're too expensive. What's actually like on your? I'm going to buy this. What as of right now? Yes. Uh, well, my two front runners are a Lexus GS300 and a Honda Accord, as per usual, with a 2.4 in the auto. Yeah, but ST220. Uh, ST220's kind of the. You could own an ST220. If I can find an ST220 local cheap and at a dealer, then yeah, that's the car. Um, I think you can find any of your cars local cheap and at a dealer. Uh, your car. Okay, I'm gonna rank these on base on actually what's closest. Yeah. So happening. Accord GS300 Jag XJ6 is a potential. That is Ooh. a real potential. 
mostly because it's very local and it's very cheap. How much uh, is vote? Uh, it's free too. For a 2004 yeah, with 100k on it, so. Bear in mind those engines are reliable. What in what? <sighs> what like actual engine are they? Three liter V6, 240 horsepower. No, like who Bad. makes? Jag. Uh, like, uh, it's an AJ. Uh, AJ V6, so it's partly Ford. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be alright. Ford do decent engines. Well, the thing is, the XJ, because this one's the one I'm on about, has 16 service stamps as well. So, it is a bit big, isn't it? It's 5,000 millimeters. Oh god. That so, is pretty big. So size difference, it was the difference between the Panda to the Impreza, it's going to be the Impreza to the XJ6, it's the same size difference. It's an extra 700 millimeters, so about 70 centimeters. Yeah. Oh wow. So it's huge, but... It's huge. I, I'll tell you the issue. What? I don't want an X-Type. Yeah? Because the next type's too old manish. Well, of course. And I don't want an S type. As much as I wanted an S type when I made the list for this episode. Um, because I know someone else who has an S type now, so it feels awkward. <laughs> and also, my next door neighbours <laughs> have an S type. How do you think I film? One of my mates has a fucking better Subaru. So it's a bit common. That being said, if I can find like a nice one with the V6, maybe. Um, so XJ6 is a very real possibility because I like that car a lot, and it's cheap to insure. How, how cheap? How to insure do you mean? 105 quid a year. Oh. Uh, a year, a year, a month. So. Oh. Oh, month. Oh. Yo, fuck. That's pretty good. Bear in mind, the Lexus is 120 and the Honda's 111, so mm. I can get way more car. Bear in mind, an XJ6 has 240 horsepower. Pretty mad. Nice. And zero to 60 in seven point something seconds. You are a fucking jagger. And it's got a wooden steering wheel. And the one I was oh, looking wow. at, yeah. it's got heated rear seats. I mean, fucking come hell, on. it does not. Yeah, it does. And it's made out of the Jeez. finest cow. I love it. The only thing you have to watch for on the XJ6 is corrosion. Does it look corrosion y? No, because they have Good. weird corrosion. They have corrosion you can't see. Because Jag's a bit stupid. Why? How? Well, the XJ6 is all aluminium. Oh. Which is great. Doesn't rust. Yeah? The problem is they welded steel to that aluminium. Oh. oh. So the steel goes. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yeah, you see the issue. Uh, so if they get corrosion, that's basically the end of the road for the XJ6. But, I've seen, the thing is, the thing I like about the XJ6 is it's like, I was sort of like, oh, unreliable and, oh, jag, you know, a bit weary. But there's like loads of them that are on like way over 150k for sale, so they can't be that bad. So that's a very real potential. Uh, Mazda RX-8 I still like. Yeah, I would too. If I can find one, if I can find one with like low miles but a rebuilt engine, that one's... Yeah, they good fucking them. luck. No, they exist. They do not. Um, the RX-8 has a multitude of issues, but they're kind of cool. I, I kind of like them. I'd, I'd rather trust the Jag. Yeah. But that Lexus is also pretty nice. Yeah, the GS300's nice. The GS300's the Jag, but I have slightly more confidence in its ability to start in the morning. <laughs> but at the same time, trying to find one. Just getting exploded like I've got, so. Um, mm. can't ensure. Wow. So, no, RX 8's potential. Uh, there's a couple of other ones. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember what's on my Auto Trader and eBay searching list. I still kind of like the Alfa Romeo 159. Well, yes. Or the Brera. Or a GT. They're all nice cars. I don't know if I'd ever be able to find the right 159, that's the issue though. Because I want one with a silly interior. Because all of them are like silver with black. It's like, I kind of want, you know, something cool. Like a black on red car, or a red on red car, or something stupid. Because Alpha. Um. 
Um, I still like Subarus. Part of me still really wants a Turbo Forester. Turbo Foresters are cool. That's probably less likely to happen now, just because there's no Turbo Foresters left. Mm. And they're all going up in price because winter is coming. <laughs> uh, Spaceship Civic's cool. I like those a lot. Ironically, the Spaceship Civic's the only car that I actually want a manual in. Um. ST220 is a real possibility. Yeah? I like those. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. If I'm getting aspirational, I like the Mitsubishi GTO. Well, yeah. Those are actually possible as well. They are. That's the thing. Mm, it's just trying to find. The problem is the one I want a '99 is like nine grand because everyone wants the '99. Yeah, because it's this the best. And the first gen's a bit too old, so I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I've considered. I like some of the Audis, but I'm not really an nah, Audi person. You, you could be an Audi. I like the Mark V GTI Golf, but I haven't had a good history with Volkswagens. Oh. I kind of like a Jetta <laughs> FSI, but because they're like Golf, G they're a Golf GTI, but Jetta. I kind of like this <laughs> Octavia VRS as well. Still, a bit. Problem is, they're insurance heavy. They are, for some reason, despite being, you know, Skodas. Um. Automatic GTO. Why the edge? The correct. How much? Five grand. Yeah, you see, that's the issue. I kind of want to stick below four. I was originally going to buy a car for two and a half grand again, but... Yeah, I wouldn't try that shit. Well, the problem is, well, the Impreza was two and a half grand, and that's a good car, but... The, um... Oh. Well... Money's, yeah, not... um... Just sort of kept building up and building up and building up, hence why I've gone from Honda Record territory to Jag territory. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> as in good Jag territory, not... Not some Ponzi X-type, as in, like, a proper... Gentleman's Jag. The only problem if I get Jag is I'd have to get leather driving gloves. I, I, I would like... get driving gloves. Yeah, I I'd have to dress like a Jag man. You... Yeah. And then I'd have to put a Slipknot CD in. <laughs> <laughs> Just ruin yeah. everything. Or Metallica. Yeah. You are the most Jag person out of all The thing bus. is, I want a cruiser. I can't... Yeah, I want a proper cruiser now. That's fair. And I know fucking I'm like 21 and, well, almost 22, and I should be like, hey, I'm going to buy a big old sports car. I should really want like an Alfa Romeo GT V6 or something like that, as my parents keep trying to get me to buy, but I don't know. I just, I just like big, leathery loveliness. That's fair. And that's what I like I about the want... XJ6. I just want something with more than 100 horsepower. Yeah, so you can buy something that has 105. It's more than 100. It is. You can Maybe probably... Do... I've got to be honest, as... That engine's detuned to fuck. I have a sneaking suspicion. Right, it's, it's got to be. What do you think reckon you could get out of it? I reckon you could probably do, like... What, with, like, an ECU reprogram? Probably, like, yeah. 130. That's Easily. fucking good. That's fucking well, good. A fucking, right, it's a 1.5 litre engine with quad cams. Well, yeah. 16 valves per cylinder. Like, it's... The 2 it's litres have hard. got 158. So, Wait, what reg is your mate? It's a no sick. Oh, fuck. What? I was going to say, if he's got like a... 03 or something, you can bully the no, shit out of him. God. But... <laughs> Because you know the uh, the O threes like the uh, the bug eyes and the blob eyes. Yeah. The two liters have only got 120 horsepower in those. Jesus. But the hey, two liter R's from like 06 have got 160. So oops. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I have found an XJ6 for 995 pounds. Oh Jesus! What's wrong with it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to look. But yeah, 
cambered to shit, let's be honest. Cambered. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I mean, I'll... 59,000... I could I'm have assuming... a 2.0. Mm. It's got 59,000 well, miles, it has no MOT, like, there's no. rust in various places, it runs and drives, and water is leaking in. Wait, what year <laughs> XJ6 is it? 1990! No. That'll be it. <laughs> I'm talking like, I want the 2003 to 2009. I'm trying to remember what the chassis code is, I think it's the X350. I want to sound cool and say chassis codes with my jag. Uh, in that case, the I have jack. found one for 3500 There we go. Right. What color is it? Uh, it's like dark blue. Mm. If it's 3295, it's the one I'm looking at. <laughs> if it's blue, anyways. Blue with well, the cream interior, which is like the best color combo. Yeah. The XJ6 yeah. is like masturbation material. Wait, when you say 3295, that's the price? Yes. There's a silver one for 3,295 for £3, pounds. Yeah, I think I've seen that one around. I like the XJ6. you got to admit, the XJ6 is a cool-ass looking car. It, it, it is. It, 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 like it, it's kind of bad. It looks like it's basically the same throughout its entire run. Yeah, that's what I like about it. <clears throat> it's a proper jag. And May I interest you in an yeah. S-Type? Uh, yeah. what year? Uh, 2003 for 1400. And 1400 too, well. I want to buy a good example. <laughs> what about, <laughs> what about an X, what about an XJ6, for, what about an X-Type V6 for 990? Jesus. I what about a Daimler, J6? Oh god, no, what? not the Daimler. <laughs> oh my fucking word. There was something else I was looking at as well that was like a luxury car. I can't remember. Was it a Rover SD1? No. You could buy you could buy a Daimler limousine. For Fuck the no. Van. All those are cheap. Fucking as hell! Oh, you actually, could I just remembered one thing. I can't do. What? I know I can't buy an XJ8. I'm not. Uh, ask LRC to tell you a story about someone we know who had a Jag XJ8. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Is it is it bad that I actually kind of want an XJ8? They're kind of cool, yes. aren't they? they? Yeah, I mean the XJ. The, do you know what I like about the XJ6? What? I I like the Top Gear review because <laughs> James May reviewed one. Oh no! And he said it was a great car. James May. James May is just Not you. Car. And he was like. Apparently it's surprising, and apparently it's literally as good as the XJ8. The only difference is you have to press the pedal slightly harder. But I won't. I do have to admit, the one thing that puts me off the XJ is, holy shit, the size of it. But that might not be too much of an issue. I'd figure something out. Hey, Neil, I'm going to ruin your day. What? A, a Bath Grand Punto. Oh, shit. It's in your price range. Yeah, they're nice. They just ride hard. Think. But it's in a bar. It is in a bar. And I, you know what? The problem is, you know, I'm a whore for Fiat's. So. <laughs> yeah, I do. That's why I'm mentioning it. I'm still it. a Fiat whore. <laughs> Fiat's a good car. Yeah, I know. After the yeah, 1990s. They are fucking great. I'd get a Fiat if I had them. Yeah, same here. Better than Dayu. Oh Anyways, my fucking god. Time to god. watch the Lotus Motorsports Elise go bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Go go. We stayed go in front of it for a while. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what the issue with the most. I have several is questions be. about this golf. What are your questions? Oh, no. Uh, one, why is it purple? Two, the fuck are those headlights? Three, why? Four, why? Five, why? Six, why? Wow. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, I found the beetle! Ooh. That looks shit. <laughs> the best part is the license plate is dud for okay. That's an illegal number plate. It's Ooh. also fitting! <laughs> this beetle I would drive, I just don't want it cambered. You know, you can undo the camera, useful. right? I know that, but still. <laughs> it's a beetle. Nice. 18 seconds on the motorsport. Right. Hey, Emil. Yes, sir. 4,195 quid, you could buy Cap D DS3. Oh, no. I can't think of anything I'd rather do less. 
<laughs> but it's a 65 plate. And that includes masturbate with a cheese grater. <laughs> oh god, no. Oh god. Uh, Flashback. Flashback. What? I've seen things. Have you seen oh, no. someone masturbate oh. with cheese grater? Oh my god. I've seen fairly out of it. Oh. Send me a bit that way. I want to see what that's like. No, oh, it got moved. So, being sick. Would, would you take a 1972 Volkswagen Beetle 1200? No. No, because the Volkswagen Beetle's what? a pile of shit. Sold by Hitler. <laughs> it was a beach party. I mean, it paid for Panzer tanks. It yeah. somehow became the symbol of hippie love. It was a beach buggy, you asshole. No, it wasn't. No, they just made You can turn them up. into them. Yeah, that's true, yeah, never mind. That's what I would do. If I ever got my hands on a beetle, I'd just turn it into a beetle. I'd just do what Jeremy Clarkson I'd my hands on a beetle, I'd just sell it and buy an actual car. I'd burn it. Or just do what Jeremy Clarkson Like a Triumph TR7. Put a <laughs> into it. What, and then play jousting between it and a Ford Scorpio? <laughs> that was a great fucking DVD, that was. What was? What's your problem with the Triumph TR7? Clarkson, Heaven and Hell. He played car jousting between a Triumph and a Ford Scorpio. Oh no. What's your problem with uh, the Triumph TR7? And in the end, oh. it ended with them both just having a massive head-on collision. And the Triumph <laughs> burst into flames. Emil. <laughs> you know what you yeah. could buy? Two Scorpio. different Porsche Boxsters. Two different? Yeah. Oh god. So I have one that works and one that doesn't. Yes. <laughs> oh hey, I found a TR7. Oh Jesus. Hey. You could have bright a fucking before. yellow. Oh. Is it, wait, is it the V8? Uh, it is. Nice. I can have a Don't you want an R Edge Porsche Boxster with 226,000 miles? Yeah, I saw that earlier. It's pretty great. It is good, isn't it? It's interesting. <laughs> How do you drive it that far without your penis falling off? Oh, I bet it was a female. <laughs> or at least it's a female now. <laughs> oh. It's Richardina. <laughs> Ooh, instead of buying your car, I could buy Rover Metro. No. You could. It looks like a clear one if you see it and snap yourself. Quick, run! <laughs> So the motorsport Why? release is going to stop s five times, I'm going to stop six. Why shouldn't I buy a K-Red Rover Metro? Power! Yeah, that'll be why. <laughs> Goodbye, motorsport release. Oh, God, let's see what piles of shit are on here. Stop making oh, me want to know what you are. Guys. What? Hmm? I have found a running SD1. You have not. Yes, I have. I thought they were all cannibalized for their engine. With, with 34,000 miles. Damn. People who wanted an engine. I think the SD1's more classic than anything worth saving. The things that were cannibalized for engines were metros. Because minis. It is shit. Oh fucking god. god. Okay, hold on a minute. Does anyone know, uh, like Saturn, like the Saturn SUVs? Yeah, the view. Yeah. yeah uh... so the front end of the Saturn View looks like the Rover SD1 front end, if you think about it's it. Kind of. Oh my god, I it does! Bit. <laughs> well, the Rover SD1 was made to look like a Ferrari Daytona. And it really doesn't. It does if you it squint and beat but... yourself to death. <laughs> at, least tank, at least Tank knows what I'm talking about. It does look, a, I guess, a bit. And before Saturn, I mean... were like, oh, Rover SD1. Successful. I mean, you gotta remember that the SD1 went to America, so it wouldn't surprise me. Wait, what? Yeah, the SD1 was sold in America. Holy what? shit, really? Yeah, they look weird because they have different headlights, but they were sold there. Yeah, fair enough. Because they weren't allowed to have covered headlights, so they have like these weird spotlight things going on. See what's under biohazard? Yay! There's a lot of weird cars you don't realize America got, like Peugeots. <laughs> I mean, I got a question. Mm. I like to distract you, but... Are all oh my of your tyres on your car the same brand? Uh, oh two of them are. Oh my fucking god, the US... Ooh, good. The US Rover SD1 doesn't look right! Yeah, tell me about it. 
Uh, the front tires are brand new, so they don't need changing. Are they actually branded? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! This looks shit. bad. Well, and I'm I'm looking at it right the now. The tires oh, were the new as of five months ago. U.S. Oh no! DS? Wait, what? Where? They're where the Kumos, so it's, it's a brand new. Yeah, thing. Kuma. I've heard of them. I don't see it. Uh, the back tires do need replacing though. No shit. Unless you How like doing tread? skids. How much treads on them? Uh, n enough to make the car do drifters occasionally. Man, the US, US regulation involving headlights was weird. Yeah. It's yeah. like... It's pretty Wait, funny. You, you like get on a roundabout and you like gun it, you can get the rear end out. Yeah, it's but like, it's, 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 it's like, you could have the most aerodynamic car in the world, but... You couldn't have covered headlights for reasons. No. Oh, the best thing about the US headlight regulation was what MG did. What did they do? Oh, well, the US regulation said headlights had to be a certain size, and everyone else redesigned the front end of their cars. <laughs> what MG did was just chuck chocks underneath the suspension struts to bring the car up physically. Nice! Yeah. And that just made the nice. handling go to pot shit. I mean, that's MG, what do you expect? Yeah. Peak MG as well. <laughs> that's MG in their prime. And th then again, the US prime? also... Like, the US also had regulation against fucking... What was it? It was like rectangular headlights? Oh, speaking of which... What the fuck was that about? That's what I saw today. What? Oh no. I saw an oh. MG GS, aka their new crossover. Oh, AKA Jesus Christ. Somebody bought one. That's so fucking horrible. Mm. Jesus. Someone bought one. I didn't even know fucking MG is still a thing. Yeah, it is, even though they're oh having... Oh my fucking god. That is so it fucking is, bad. but MG's really yeah. good now. Do you know why? Why? They can't Chinese. even say it's a British yeah, thing anymore. Because they can't build the cars in Britain anymore. Do you want to know how oh, cheap no. the MG GS is? Go on. 15 grand. Jesus. You. So you can they buy that market. or, like, a base model Duke. I've seen an Eclipse Cross. I've seen an Eclipse Cross. It was cross. bad. It was shocking. Again, I like how everyone That's thinks the Eclipse good. Cross is the worst thing ever. Meanwhile, the Shogun Sport exists. What the fuck? Hold on a minute. I don't what like more? the fact that MG uses, like, actual trim names. Like, Explore, Excite, Exclusive. The MG3 was the best, where they had, like, the MG freestyle with free. Oh, God. Well, I'm sorry, but who's who's buying an MG3 Excite? There's I'm sorry. There's nothing exciting that's ever happened in an MG3 product. you know what the product? absolute best thing about the MG3 was? What? Did you ever see their Facebook marketing thing? No, I didn't. Oh, no. Oh, trust me, that was the best thing ever. Also, I typed in MGGS into Google, and it says equals 0 0.001 gram. Yes. Right. It was an MG3. Yeah. And it's like a bunch of advertise. You know how Facebook adverts work, where they've got like all those sliding windows, and it's just like mm. now with a thousand pounds off and free financing, whatever, so just, whatever, whatever. I oh, searched shit, MG3 this? Facebook, and it came what up with MG3 fan. You've time missed everything. Yeah. everything. Okay. Yeah, literally everything. <laughs> Anyways, um, so you know how they have those like Facebook advertisements, where it's like a button, multiple screens, and it's like zero percent financing, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. The top line on MG's post, and I quote, was the lads at football will approve. Fuck. What? And do you want to know what the best bit is? What? Oh no. The first comment on it was, the lads at football will not approve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just scared. And then it was just like, out. some of the people were like, the lads at football will laugh at you, the lads at football will just pick it up and turn it round. <laughs> It's not as the lads uh, at football will fucking burn the car. They had to change it in the end. Why? They changed the line to like a Fiesta, but a couple of grand cheaper. That's Aww. a classic. Did they That's really? Yes. <laughs> uh, to which point, the, the top comment on that one was, "Yeah, it's like a Fiesta in the same way that it has four wheels, four doors, and some seats." Other than that, <laughs> there is no similarities between it and the Fiesta. I'm just scared that there's apparently an MG3 fan corner page on Facebook. Oh god. I mean, there was the MGZR Owners Club that we got reported to once, so... Oh god, that, yeah, that was a thing. Do? What? 
There was a guy who posted a picture of like he posted a Honda meme, you know, like ha ha ha, look lawnmowers. Yeah. And the yeah. guy responded with like, um, it's like you you on your profile you've got an MG ZR. Those had Honda engines, you idiot. And he was like, no, the Rover <laughs> K series engine's completely different to the Honda K series engine. Yeah, the Rover K series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he's like, no, it's not. Why and he was would like, anyone... Yes, it is. And then he posted a picture where he posted in the MGZRZS Owners Club. And he was Fucking just like, hell. some guy tried to say the Rover engines are like the Honda engines. And it's just a bunch of people laughing at him. And also some people saying, well, technically, yeah. Um, <laughs> Why would you want to advertise that your car's engines aren't as To good? which point I just commented on it just saying, the MGZSZR Owners Club, I'm dying inside. <laughs> God has left. And then the guy left. And he just stole <laughs> God him. has left. Along with so God cool. has left the server. So, Emil. What up with this? I've been told some bad news. What? Oh, no. It, it, it's going to start snowing soon. No! <gasps> Is it time Wait, for the truck? Yes. Oh, fuck off. It's been snowing the here for the past fucking week. God, I want it to be the snowiest winter in the world oh, yeah. after I buy my Subaru. We live in the fucking center of the earth, so... Yeah. Good for you. you get we to don't get snow until, like, January. No, I feel <laughs> no pity. So does that mean the truck has to come out? The truck has to come out and it's not ready yet. Oh. Uh, does the Firebird have to go back to storage? The Fire... I mean, we have to, like, drive the Firebird for, like, next week. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully. In snow. Oh. And all the snow part isn't really that bad. It's the part where they put this thing on the road to keep ice away. Oh, yeah, because you have to, yeah, that gets well. under the car and rots it, doesn't That it? gets under the car and fucks it. Yeah. 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 And on a fire bird. Well, 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 well yeah. if, there's, if there's global warming, why is it getting colder? Checkmate, atheists. Oh! Anyways. <laughs> you know what you yeah, need to anyway. do? What? You need to tell Die. that bitch to pass the test faster so she could drive you around in a jeep instead of getting firebird cut and shit. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> Anyways, lap 16 of 66. The, the motorsports yeah. lease is the nowhere is. to be found. Fun okay. fact, in 1666, London caught fire. It did? Yeah. Bakery, apparently. Good. Yeah. Should have stayed on fire. Yeah, it's probably. It's what killed the Black Plague, mostly. No, that's not really not gonna help. Because <laughs> <What? laughs> she's fucking... Wasn't... Wasn't she's the Omen also bomb. released in... <laughs> something 666 related? No, I don't think so... Yeah, I think it was released on, like, name. June 6th, 1966. I'm gonna look this up. What was? The, uh, the original Omen. No idea. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck feels like. Sire! The worst thing is about the, the Firebird, there's like no like rust check or anything under it. Yeah. Undercoating. Can you not, yeah, can you not invest in some undercoat? I could, but that costs money. Ah. A car that I don't drive in the winter anyway. Fair play. Oh, okay, in the US, it, or in the UK it you was You just have to wash June the six. bottom of it every night or something. Yeah. Well, okay. I've looked it up. It too hard. In the UK, it was released on June 6th, 1976. Well, in the US, it was released on June 25th, 1976. That, that poses, poses a problem where I can barely fit on under it if I can... It's why you buy a big open, car. Open the... It is a big car. It's why you buy a Jaguar XJ6. Because those only rot in places that you can't get to anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> you just drive along one day and the engine will just detach from the rest of the car. Drive along Ooh. one one day, someone's tailgating you and the spare tire falls off. No, no, the entire rear end of the car just falls off with you <laughs> in it. Because I think it's just the a pillar that rots. Uh, because, well, that's no, again, that's no biggie. jag. I, I mean, the fucking... Plastic bit that goes over the A-pillar fell annoyed. off not too long ago on my Firebird, so because GM interior. Nice. You need to get one of those fucking Pontiac steering wheels that's just full of buttons for it. No. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the one that I have. Oh, right. I, I hate the one that I have now. Yeah, you was gonna change it, wasn't you? I was gonna change it to the earlier one with the three three spoke. What does everyone the think of the Firebird IRL actually? 
I, I, it's a I just think car, it's neat. So I'm a bit... I like it. Muscle car. Neat, I was more asking what people in Scotian's life thought of it, but you, your opinions matter too, I guess. No one cares. No, no one cares. cares. <laughs> it's a, no one cares. <laughs> it is very Firebird. It doesn't surprise me no one cares. Like, there's, a, there's an... There's an... There's an there's an occasional person that's like, oh, I had one of these back in my day, and that's about it. <laughs> Is it bad? I've literally commented one nice thing to someone's car once, and that's all I've ever done. Oof. I saw someone I in a McDonald's have a Ford Orion. <gasps> it's just after I finished complaining to someone at McDonald's, I said, nice car. And she's like, oh, thanks. And then he, told, he started telling his kid, like, see, look. Your mum might say it differently, yeah. but it's still cool, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and he did actually say nice. that. Discussion. Has anyone thought <laughs> has anyone It was a nice ass Orion, though. It was like a. It's still an Orion! It was a G plate Orion, and it was clean as fuck. It's like a discount that was, Escort. That was fucking great. No, the Orion was more expensive than an Escort. What? The Orion was just an Escort with a boot. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, I see. It was not, one not of Clarkson's either. least favorite cars ever. My stepdad always. I mean, she. Camille. Hmm? I mean, she doesn't even care about the Firebird, so that's. That's saying something. Does she care? She likes the truck better, doesn't she? She likes the truck more. Hmm. Get her to drive the truck. No. Why not? She's only gonna I injure will... other people with it. <laughs> what do no. you care about other people? Considering. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll let her learn stick shift in the in the fire burp, but not the truck. Wouldn't the truck be easier? No. Oh hell no. Really? I thought trucks are supposed to be like easier to learn on, according to RCR. No. No. Why not? They're not. Because where where the uh, clutch grabs on mine is pretty much you're at the top. Oh yeah, you've got the same issue I have, haven't you? Yeah, it, it yeah. grabs like the top and it fucking jerks forward like a bat out of hell. Yep. Does your clutch also need? Does your clutch also need a truck? Need a truck? Yes. Yes. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. It feels. I think it feels part really... of it. I I honestly God thinks part because your issue and my issue sound very similar. I just think maybe four wheel drive in general just has shit clutches. I don't know. No, it's probably my. It's probably me because it's like five thousand pounds. Yeah, because the Impreza has a bad clutch, but I don't know if Imprezas just have terrible clutches by default. I mean, I'm, and it makes. I'm, I'm guessing the throw up bearing makes a lot of noise when you let up the clutch anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably need a new clutch in the next year or so anyway. Mine need mine fucking slips like a motherfucker. <laughs> Until. Oh, as a. Yeah, that's the thing. The clutch is fine. You just need to full throttle start everywhere. <laughs> oh god. Oh my. If I don't, then what happens? Uh, it will either judder like a motherfucker. It doesn't really stall until you're not expecting it. Oh. Uh, it started doing that recently. I... It kind of likes yeah, to can't... do it every now and again. I don't know. Why. I can't do that. Yeah. I can't do that. I can rev to a bit like. I don't know, 15, 2,000 RPMs, and it'll jerk itself forward, but I can I can just fucking do like the car and just slide it out. It's, it's quite a weird thing, but once you've learned it, it's not too bad. You just sort of have to bear it. I mean, it's the same, with, I mean, it's the same with the truck, because holy fuck. It, I've driven the Firebird for about two years, and I, got in, and I first got in the truck and I fucking stalled it. Nice. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I legitimately only ever stalled, it's, stalled the Panda once. It's not an easy. It's not an easy vehicle to learn stick on. I would. Yeah, but then again, it might be better to not have an easy thing to learn. Yeah. On. Yeah. Probably, but. I mean, I learned in a bunch of cars. So. Yeah. I learned but... in Peugeot. Like initially, Peugeots are the easiest things in the world to learn clutches on because they fucking tell you as soon as something's gone bad. Mhm. Mm then I drove Maybe. a Fiesta. Fords have no feel in the clutch whatsoever. If you're... Wouldn't surprise me a bit. You don't well, have any the... feel in them whatsoever. They're like light. They don't tell you bite points or anything like that. Uh, I the, the thing gone. Yeah. The thing with the Firebird is like 
the car, the, the car really doesn't care what you do as, as long as you, like, have a little bit of gas with it. Hmm. The, the truck is... The, the truck is... Yeah, I'm either gonna stall or, or just fucking go at about 20k an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably needs a new clutch. Or at least a new so I, pressure. I do have to ask. Has anyone ever commented on the Firebird being a Trans Am? No. Oh, no. yeah. Has anyone Actually, ever gone yeah. up to you and go, Yeehaw, Bird Reynolds! <laughs> I, w I wouldn't be surprised if someone did that. Actually, no, one. yours is the no. Night Rider one, isn't it? And yet, and yes, I have I have heard uh, Nice Camaro as well. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> was that a joke? <laughs> That was that was genuine. Oh, wow. I mean, I can't blame them. They do look I mean, very. Technically, similar. it is a Camaro. Yeah. It's an F-body GM car. It's a it's yeah, a it's, Cam just... it's a Cam it's a Camaro with pop-up headlights. Yeah, it's a Camaro with pop-up headlights and a smoother body. Yes, and yeah. not driven by gay people and or Rhino GT4. Whereas, <laughs> whereas the Camaro is basically a polygon. I like the '90s Camaro. I think it's cool. I actually did. It's witchy. Like the '90s, the '90s Camaro has really grown on me. It shits driving yeah. Forza, but well, then again, yeah. so does the Firebird Trans Am apparently. I mean, the, and the me and Scotian still can't for the life of us figure out why the Camaro is three seconds quicker. Because Speaking of which, I really need to do thing. another episode of that time. Probably. You gotta do the uh, Hot Wheels cars like next or something. Uh, probably not next, but they're on the radar. Yeah. I do them, but they're sort of the hype over them's gone. Yeah. So I will do. Yeah. I think the cl plan was classic sports cars, retro sports cars, modern sports cars, or something. I'll probably stick to that and do Hot Wheels as episode yeah. forty. Okay. Right, oh, special. FYI, FYI, the uh, twin mill is just shit to drive. Yeah, I, just, I'm dreading oh, driving no the twin shit. mill. No shit. Yeah, most of it's the It's like a 1500 horsepower rear wheel drive monstrosity. No, what that's not. No, no, no. Here's the thing. I'm not even remotely scared of that. Well, it can't be any worse than driving the fucking Roadrunner. No, I, I think there's a bigger issue than that. What? The Bone Shaker. No. Seeing out of it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cock review. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. The worst car I've driven gonna... in cockpit view currently is the <laughs> stallion, because yeah. that thing <laughs> had um, just on stickers it. all over the fucking windshield. Oh, yeah. Your 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 vision. Oh, you mean the stallion? Oh yeah, that looks yeah. evil. You gotta give me your dog. Yeah, the fucking. Yeah. Your vision is blocked by a pizza pizza. Yeah. The problem is, all the stickers are in the places where you look into corners with. It's well, I mean, you gotta keep in mind, that thing's originally a drift car, so... Oh, no, it is a drift car. Uh, well, I just drove the Formula Drift cars, and they were all not stupid. Yeah, the truck stallion isn't in a Formula Drift car! Other than the fucking... the S14.5 Sylvia, that thing's a piece of shit, but... Yeah, 14. Or is it the boss car? One of them's a complete dog. Wow, I forgot I had the roll. Hey I forgot I had the roll. Hey, Lotus. Hi. Hi. We know we're going late because the Australian showed up. <laughs> Emil's doing an endurance. Yeah, I like how you always seem to join oh, hey. us on El Capitan. <laughs> or, yeah. Oops. I, I can't remember how El Cap... How, uh, how well El Capitan was to drive? How, how is it? It's pretty good, actually. There's one corner that fucks me up, and I'll point it out. Yeah. <clears throat> I would be playing Gran Turismo 2 right now. Or, no, I am playing Gran I would be. I, I'd be playing Gran Turismo 4 right now, but the copy I bought at a convention for $5 is physically cracked. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. You're gonna dive into the pits this time around. Yes, you are. And goodbye, Motorsports Elise, once again. Maybe oh, the motor sporty, the motor sporty Didn't lease. Right. What a meme! Yeah, the one as I said. We're getting 172 A spec points for this race, by the way, purely because that thing's here. 
Which, Amazing. also since we're like, about to lock our first car, and it's the SL65, which is probably the most comparable car to this one that we're driving. By the way, Lotus S-Type. Oh, the Jaguar? Yes. No. Oh, Things cool. Big Daddy. Supercharged. Yes, Big Daddy Supercharged S-Type R. Excellent. Is it, <laughs> because, again, I'm fairly is certain... Is that going to be the title of the video? I have Big Daddy Supercharged S-Type. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, this corner fucks me up. Because it's so weird. Actually, all, like, so far... And jizz. So Damn, far, what has been the dumbest title for the for this Let's Play? The dumbest title we've had? Yeah. <laughs> wankers in Paris. Yeah, Wankers in Paris is pretty good. I mean, the stupidest title ever is still 55 inches of only the finest Scott Steiner. Um, it hasn't been demonetized. Yeah, that one hasn't been demonetized. Horsecock Harry has been. That's the only video that's ever been demonetized. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. What? I wonder why. Yeah, there's a video called Horsecock Harry. Yeah, oh, I wonder I why. Like... And also another one just called I'm 55 Inches now. of Only the Finest Scott Steiner. <laughs> Again, don't ask. Why? Don't worry, I oh, won't ask. stupid titles is the- There's Beans? Beans is a pretty dumb title, in retrospect. I mean, it is- it is apt. Be beans! It's apt, yeah. Oh, there was the, um... Some of my favourite titling has to be the, uh, fucking... The best 60s- Oh, what was it? The best 70s JDM car is a Honda. The best 80s JDM car is a Honda. The best 90s JDM car is a Honda. The best JDM car is a Honda. That was pretty good. Yeah. I like all of those. They're great. Honestly, I was kind that's of good, expecting... That's a good mini-series. Yeah. It's the best story arc. Yeah. <laughs> but no, honestly, with that, I was expecting the last one to be, like, to be a subversion. Like, the best JDM car is a Nissan or something. Oh, yeah, something like that. No, I think we were you... tempted. Genuinely, we wasn't going to play into the meme. Or, like, I didn't even realize it. Basically, what happened is it happened by accident. <laughs> Quote unquote oh, accident. Well, the problem is, I was always going to use the Civic for the 70s thing. I think I was always planning to use Prelude for the 90s. For the 80s, I wanted to use the Isuzu Piazza, I think. It was either the Isuzu or, like, a Nissan EXA Canapé. Something stupid. Oh. I was going to use something like that, and then I saw the Honda City Turbo 2 in the fucking Japanese dealer, and I was like, hmm, I like that That's more. So I used that, kind of, and then... just spiraled out of control. Yeah, and then the last one I think was going to be a Legacy, or a Subaru or some description, I think. The Legacy, in the, in that broader only reference I'd be able to get. Oh no, I got, oh did you, I made a reference in the thing. In the Legacy episode, yeah, I called it, like, Liberty or something. Yeah. Without like, Liberty, we have no Legacy. Yes, without Liberty, we ha we need leave no Legacy. Yeah. Which is, I think, Still a an creative title. title. I, like my, yeah. uh, I like my creative titles, no one understands. <laughs> and, then, and then, of course, and then, of course, we have, most recently, the all-consuming Big Fast. Yes, the all-consuming Big Fast. <laughs> That's what happens when I run <laughs> all the fuck out of ideas. <laughs> no, that's what that's what happens when you get a TVR Speed 12. That's not the most recent. Painted in chameleon, nonetheless. The funny thing is, I really like. I take more pride in titles than you'd ever think I would. I genuinely love titling videos. That's my favorite bit of this. That's the fun. That's the fun part of. That's the fun yeah. part of making a video. And you can pretty much talk to me about most of the titles and I can at least give you a little description of what the brain was thinking at the time. I know half of the manufacturer races are literally just, I had nothing better on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and some of them have got really stupid names, like the one with the Mercedes SL I think it's just called like, Stupidly Lazy Cruiser or something like that. Naturally Slidey X is a pretty dumb title as well actually, that was a Grand Turismo 2 one. Yeah, that was shit. <laughs> My favourite Gran Turismo 2 one might be the fucking, the worst pun I've... Is it the Ford? What? Did my internet die? No. Oh. I know what my favourite title is. Is it a Ford <coughs> one? The what? Is it one of the Ford ones? What was the Ford one? 
from Gran Turismo 2. What was the fourth one from Gran Turismo 2? Ford Car. Oh, no. Oh, CAC. Yeah. No. The best one. The best one. Is. Yeah. This car bugs me. And it's the Beetle. I hate <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best <laughs> title. That did say Blue Snowball Excellent. when I bought that old, didn't it? Don't know. Hold on. That says Blue Snowball, doesn't it? Yeah. Um. I think. Fucking hell! That says Blue Snowball, doesn't it? Yes. Right. Yeah! Thank you. Fucking I wasn't hell. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, you're good. I might split it into two parts mate. to listen to it because I'm self-conscious about the audio. It should be all right though. I think I've done oh. that. It's done that before. I don't know why it does that. I think it's a Discord issue because the microphone on here still says it's enabled. Like it's still Meh. got a little power light on it. I just think Discord went dippy. Oh, possibly. Uh, it happens. The microphone can mm. go dippy though because the USB bus is on the top of my PC is starting to go. No. Mm. Then again, they've been starting to go for the last four years, so... Oh. It's fine. I've wired the Elgato to the back. I think I tried doing the same with the Snowball, but those ones don't work either, so... It just occasionally craps out. Usually occasionally. Usually I smack it. I need a new well, computer. Well, I mean... Like the next occasionally. Computer. I do need a new computer at some point. Yeah. Oh well. I have an HP 2000 series laptop if you want it. I have a HP Pavilion. That's oh. what this PC I have, is. I have a rock. It's a... I mean, it's a decent PC. It was... It would have actually made a good gaming PC when it was relevant four years ago if I'd upgraded it. <laughs> yeah, I, if I put a graphics card in it, it probably would have, like, run shit. But... It so, really I've... <laughs> I've developed a bit of a weird tendency in GT2. Hi yeah. TVR, mm -hmm. this is gonna pain me to lap you. Which what TVR like, is it? It's the best TVR. It's a speed six. What TVR? Oh. oh yeah. Well, apparently I can't catch it on a straight though, so maybe not. What were you saying, Tang? Um, <clears throat> I've started doing something weird in Gran Turismo 2, wherein... Well... Like, for an endurance race, I'll pit on the last lap. Why? Not? I don't know! Is I actually don't know why off? I do it. Why, though? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. The flag. I can get showed right, by Yeah, that probably explains it. I gotta figure out what memory card is in what slot. It's hot. I gotta figure out if I wanna pit on this lap on the next lap. Okay, we're good. I'm 34 seconds ahead of the motorsport to lose, so he won't catch me in pitting. Yeah, you'll be fine. He pits every 11 laps, I know that much. And I know I'm going to have to make one more stop than he does by the end of it. One or two. At least you're in the lead. Oh yeah, I'm well in the lead. I think we'll win. <coughs> like, there's no question about that, it's just a question of how much by. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, I I am coming up with a stupid idea. Mm. Yeah. For the Laguna Seca Endurance, it's should... Gone. Oh, yours. I was about to say, yeah. if you're on about all of your oh. endurance, it's done. No, 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 no! We did it in a TBR T350 <laughs> a long time ago. I was around for that one. Was you? I think, oh, like, during the tail end, I think. I don't know. The video's on YouTube, right, on, like, back. most of them. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck yeah, full oh. house. Oh, shit, it's dark. Oh, shit. Also, I've got streamer mode on, so I've got no idea who's joining and who isn't, because I expected it's me. people to bounce in and out. Torn. Who the fuck it's, are you? Uh, Oh, it's your it's your angry hus it's your angry wife. Oh fuck it. Fuck's sake, Steam, just fucking update. Hi Tom. Hello. How are you? I see you're doing the um El Capitan Endurance. I am. Is? I use the Audi A7 concept car. I you using the Jaguar S type R. Oh shit. Hang on. Audi. A7. You're using the uh the ugly Jag. Whoa, it's only ugly uh... if you look at the front of it. Yeah. <laughs> Go left, you fucking piece of shit. I've Go left. Well, I actually thought of something. Go really dumb. left. This is what you do. Go left. I'm going back to the fucking <coughs> opal. Move west. 
You deserve to go there. Move west. Only in rally. Should I go west? Only in. Should only I go use west. The VR speed twelve for oh. the Laguna Seca endurance? No. Only yes. In... Why Maybe. not? Does it it doesn't badly. drive. Exactly. I used it to finish the game though. So. You have to remember. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, I made another bad pun with oh, the speed 12 in GTA. Alright. Oh no. How many... Alright, Tank, curious question. Mm. How, ma how many liters, how many bottles of dumb bitch juice do you have in your in your fridge? I have Dude, none. that's all he fucking drinks. Are, Are you sure? Motherfucker! Emil has gallons of that. I just realized something. What? what? In every what? single Gran Turismo playthrough I've done, I've used the server. Uh, the speed 12. Ooh. Yeah, I used... Frankly! Actually, Frankly, that I used the speed. Yeah, <clears throat> I used. Uh, I'm fairly certain. Fairly, unless actually no. Did I? Actually, I might not have in Gran Turismo One. I might have oh, used the Griffith. Either way. The old I think one. I did in GT. Actually, no. I might have used it for endurance. Was the Serpent LM edition in GT One? Yeah. Yeah, I think I might have used that for endurance then. Yeah, it, you could also get its a similar uh, its appearance as a um. As a racing modified car. Yeah. There's a fucking team in this in this fucking game called Doyle Rally. Oh yeah, nice. Doyle. <laughs> this shit. Um, fucking Doyle. The. Doyle. Oh, I know what car I'm gonna use for Rome. I need to check again, but I'm, I might have used the Cerberus LM for uh, an endurance. I used the. I think I used both the Speed Six and the Speed Twelve in GT Two. I just think. I definitely used the Speed 12 to finish the game. Uh, the Speed 12 in Gran Turismo 3 was the longest time we ever used the car for. Because we used it for 7 hours during the Polyphony Digital Cup. Oh. Stock. That's the episode with 55 inches of the finest Scott Steiner. Um, oh no! I just thought about something. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably be a bad parent because I probably need my son Doyle. <laughs> If you do that, I will come over to you wherever the fuck it is you are and punch I you will right you to CPS. I've already said, I I mean, I've already said kid, if I have right? to have children, I'm naming them Jamal and Jerome. And they're both going to be white. <laughs> For I'm my pretty own sure it's I Tank. My, my own fucking had used my cousin. Because of fucking that, that one off. scene in The Mask where the guy just goes, just says, Doyle! <laughs> what do you oh, want, yeah. Lotus? Anyway. Oh. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Tank that you and Scotian are like in both of the both of you are in Canada, so like going up going up there yeah, we're punching um, it probably plausible. We we are uh, on the opposite ends of Canada. Yeah. Uh, hey, Scotia, you want you want to meet me halfway through the country so I can punch you in the dick? No. Yeah. <laughs> Is that full Taurus SHO I mean, I feel... still working? I, I, I feel bad for uh, I feel bad for you because you're on the expensive side. Yeah, I really am. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I, I love how how uh, uh, you're on the on, on the Pacific. It just gets cheaper the more east you go. Yeah, yeah, it really does. <laughs> it gets more French as well. No, French it gets is cheap. West. It, it gets it gets cheap uh, when you hit like uh, uh, fucking Manitoba. When you hit Saskatchewan and Manitoba, and then it gets expensive again in uh, Ontario and Quebec, and then it gets cheap again. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> that's rich, pretty much Canada in a nutshell. Cheap. <laughs> I'm talking about like real estate. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying like rich, cheap, rich, cheap. But what do you mean? Uh, yeah, that's, that's just real estate. Free real estate. <clears throat> because it's not uh, free here, real estate. Don't fucking well, I mean, joke here. I'm like here, uh, unlike here, where it's like five hundred dollars, and you get like fucking a three-bedroom apartment. God damn. Yeah, but unfortunately, you have to live with a bunch of rednecks. And then over there, yeah, you that's. Have... And then over oh, there, it's you. It's not even you rednecks; pay... it's fishermen. And over there, you have to pay like three thousand. Yeah, it's really bad here. <laughs> Is this a price for you in like Vancouver or something? Where I live. We don't have Uber. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we don't have Uber. What? Which part are you? Which part are you in, like Vancouver it or some shit? Uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the uh, the Tri Cities. Of. Uh... So it's oh, like fuck. the Twin Cities, but not as cool. I'm trying. I'm actually trying to. Think Is there legitimately only two cars here that aren't British? 
If you live in, oh. if you live in like Zinko, you're paying. There's the Merc and well, the... well, Jack. Uh, there's the I Merc and the know. Shelby. Oh, because this is. I'm in. Uh, in here. Are you going to complain to the Daily Telegraph about this? No. I'm by Coquitlam. You're on what now? I I'm in Coquitlam. Although I'm, I'm going to complain about the fact this fucking TVR is a bad color for its own. I'm going to think it's expensive. What's wrong with Moonraker yeah. Black? It's kind of expensive. Moonraker Black is not as good as a. That's not a proper TVR color. Yes, no. it is. No, it isn't. No, it's not. Five. A proper it's TVR dark color. The shadows that prop up the world, you tit. No, but. A proper TVR colour is like five different colours. <laughs> May I remind you that um, Moonraker is also the name of the sci-fi James Bond what movie? That, what is that fucking Kimi Raikkonen face that boost post in response channel? I don't know. I saw Max Verstappen got angry at a guy in pink earlier. Yes, anyway, he got, yes because Esteban Ocon decided not to give way to the blue flag. To be fair, Verstappen seems like a complete asshole. Anyway, I off. think I figured out what car I'm going to use for Rome. Master of Steppen is just young and dumb. Have he you also has what is it? eyelashes like a female. I'm going to use the saline SR wide body. Oh, this fucking Max. I oh, think he's boy. like 18 or some shit. Yeah, he seems young and full of attitude. Well, he is 23. Yeah. Fucking there millennials. Yeah, fucking millennial. That's why I said... Let me, let me tell you this right now, but the kid's got some fucking... Got some fucking balls in the car. Yeah, when he blocks his that's fucking teammates from overtaking car. and then they crash into the back of him. Yeah, sure. That's not always a good thing, though. To quote Boost, boring is safe. I'm gonna race for Doyle now. <laughs> Have fun with that. But I well, if that Max was the case, reckon... then Jeremy Clarkson would have almost died like 50 times. He has! No, you're talking about Richard Hammond. Yeah, Richard Hammond. He went across the he went across Death Road almost fully into the chasm below. Yeah. What a cock that in the fucking Land Rover too. Yeah. But so did the, all the other Range fucking presenters. Fuck ten, whatever. He wasn't trying to let someone pass. They weren't trying to let someone pass though. In fact, it was dark and no one was on it. Oh yeah, because driving it in the dark. I'd rather drive it in the dark than have the fear of oncoming traffic. I'm sorry. Oh, I'd rather the other way around. Oh, no. I'd rather it be dark and no one's around. Yes. So no, I'd rather way. it fucking there be people around because in the dark you can't see shit. There, I'm in a, I'm in a better fucking R2 rally car now. In well, Opel. Rather, You're in rather... the Adam. Yeah, I'm in the Adam again. The Adam is better than the Fiesta. The isn't fucking it? Adam. The, the Ford is... yeah, the Ford is shite. The Ford's weird. <laughs> I think I bought a Ford anyway, because I refused to pay for an Adam, but... You don't get... you, you get an, uh, you get the uh, Ford anyway. Oh, do you? Maybe I'd have got yeah. Ford then. I figure, actually, I might it's have like, sold it for an Adam. I don't remember. Like, you, well, you get the Adam in, anyway, because you're fucking assigned on something. I know in the end I had... I know last time I played that game I have, like, four different cars. Yeah. I have a yeah. Fiesta, I have a 2015 Impreza, I have a car, 2001 I mean, I have... Impreza, and I have a Peugeot 306 Maxi. I oh. haven't, I haven't bought anything yet, so yeah. I know I've got. The I Fiesta don't remember how much the SR white body is in Grand Turismo Two, but I'm sorry. Let me check the wiki. I, I'm sorry about these uh, things. One mil, that's it. That I can not... drive. I can drive that's a Fiesta or an Atom if that's I want to. Cheap. Nice. So, um, in F1, who reckons there's going to be a new world champion? I don't know. Probably. I yes. don't watch it, so... I just watch Max for stab and push a pink guy. Yeah. I think he's going to be world champion next year. I hope Hamilton wins. <laughs> oh. He, he, oh. he can absolutely outdo Hamilton. Nah, I want to slow him down now. I've got a bad idea. What now? <clears throat> Is your bad, does your battle idea involve a bottle of nitrous and Emil's arsehole? Oh god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's not allowed no. to go on that, so... No, 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 no. Road going GT40 at special stage Route 5. Eh, could work. Fun. Could it work? Could work. How much horsepower can you get out of this thing? 600 and something. It's really? 700 yeah. horsepower at stock, isn't it? No, you can turn. No, the road going to be 40. 
the, the straight car. Yeah, you can turbo it. It's about... You can turbo this thing? I'm pretty certain. It's from I think it's 1960. I think on Hot Lap Classic, it's legitimately the second fastest mid-engine car ever. Hang on, it's the, that's the nine, that's the '66, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that's it, the one that reappeared, that disappeared after three, and that just reappeared in six. Yeah. Ow. It's yeah. It was the second fastest. I think the only thing that that was a very stern don't cut there. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I think the only thing actually no, the GT40 might be the fastest mid-engine rear-drive car we ever had. It's legitimately Damn. like fifth or sixth on the leaderboard, despite the fact that Lap Classic is dominated by all-wheel drive. All right, it's it's like wide body time. Put loads of power into. It's a shame because I think the Vector M12 LM edition yeah, was the handles. fastest or something. Handles like a beast. That thing. Mm. Yeah, the Vector. Right, I keep, I keep remembering that Vector exists. Was it the WH Twin Turbo that was fast? Remember Vector? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Victim. I'm trying to remember the Hot Lap Classic leaderboard off the top of my head, but I haven't looked at it. Oh shit, right I just remembered. I still, have to, I still have to do the national events. I haven't looked at the Hot Lap Classic leaderboard what? in six months, so... I know what the top oh. three cars are. I, I just... Just not everything. It's the Suzuki Scudo Pikes Peak Edition, the Suzuki Colts' Pikes Peak Edition, and the Audi S4. I just love how the SR's oh, nameplate sorry, the for the... S4? Or Audi yeah. A4, even. I love how the SR wide body's nameplate is just SR. Yeah. Like, that's all that they could do. Added. Yeah, the Audi A4 is, like, stupidly fast. Well, when you turbo it to death, yeah. yeah. <coughs> well, again, you got to remember, Hot Lap Classic, it's motorsports land. If you've got all-wheel you... all drive a decent amount of power, you're going to do very well. How much power can you get out of the, um, the Starlet Turbo? Uh, I don't know. 210? Yeah, not a lot. 10? Well, the bomb that said seems like you've now. Hot explosive! Yeah, I think I think I found my car for the Japanese nationals. Mm. Ooh. Fucking hell, the bomb next door! Oh, it's. The cows are booing to death! I can <laughs> hear them! Do you live on a fucking farm? I live next to one. He lives in a shed. Oh yeah, that's right, you do live in a shed. Yes, I do. I forgot. <laughs> Total Eclipse. Suffer rotten my. I, 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 had could... to I had to show that to someone on video call on Thursday. I could Did you? live in a shed. Yes. But... Eh. Trying to. Eh. It's Good man. Goes. Eh. Keep going. Eh. Eh. Speaking of it, Bill, eh. mm. has she accepted? Oh, I don't know. I haven't checked. <laughs> oh no! What have you done? Oh, you weren't here to discuss. I wasn't awake for this. We won't discuss it. It was stupid. Yeah. It was stupid. Not, okay. Not, ish. It was one of the stupidest you... ideas Emil has ever had, and Azza knows that. The worst bit is I still don't regret something. it because I don't think it's that stupid. But... To be fair. Oh, okay. I could have done I'm just in it for the ten pounds I'm making. You could have done worse things. Yeah, everyone gets I a tenner can... if it turns out to. You can work. get. Yeah. Yes. With the muffler upgrade and an H and up, you can get 161 horsepower out of this thing. Cool. Again, legitimately, I haven't checked, so I don't know. You are an idiot, Emil. I'm not that much of an idiot. Yes, you are. She's still kind of get... hot. That's like that's like me saying I'm not that much of a fag. But you are. Yeah, you are. Demonetized. Exactly. That's the point. Oh yeah, you can't say faggot anymore, you fucking prick. Oh shit. Uh, Fe yeah, thanks, oh, Lucifer. Yeah, now he's gonna make yeah. less money. Yeah, that's the point. He's I gonna might make have monetization less, by the time this goes out. YouTube will finally finish make. reviewing my fucking channel. And then <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gonna yeah he's gonna make one less cent because of you. Hey, guess what? You know what that means. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, you know what oh, I can God. do now, don't you? What? I think when my monetization comes back, I can finally do super chats, <gasps> so people can pay me on stream. Oh so, shit! I, oh, yeah, I will Storm. stream naked for a hundred quid. Just point that out. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand on right, camera. Okay, let me find How much is hundred quid? U.S. dollars. A thousand on camera. 
Will you strip naked for 600 quid and I buy your car? Not for buying my car, I mean, you won't. I mean, that's you a good offer. Oh, and and then I do it. No, I'm not 700, 100. I'm fucking... I'm not that desperate, although I can do a lot for a fiver. You're n not Dude, that no, desperate, man. okay! Hmm. Oh, I can do a lot for a ten. Mm. Like, trust me, I'm fucking... I am the sort of person that says, hey, would you do this for ten pounds? As long as it ain't no gay shit, I'd probably be like, hey, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, for a thousand pounds a meal, would you have a desperate shag and a skip? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> and do oh. it live, stream. Live stream? On it. YouTube. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Only if he gets to wear some over his face. No, fuck that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> It's time for <laughs> maybe. It's actually. time for the green boy. I know. Hopefully, Whoa. I'll get that TRE face mask out by then. That face pillow or whatever the fuck it is in 2K18. Fucking face pillow. Or 2K19. <laughs> Whatever's a much pillow. better picture. That face pillow. I'll get that. I have made a very big mistake. Also, I'm out of music, so next pit stop, I need to find something to listen to. Uh, you need to listen to some Slayer. banging tunes for me. Sta Slayer. Slayer? <laughs> yeah. The problem so is all Slayer stereo, albums are really you. short. I need something that's gonna last about an hour. Uh, one. I'll either use another okay. Metallica album or I'll just stick with the Slipknot album. Just listen to the screams Emil. of the damned for the next hour or so. The sounds of silence. Emil, please remind me never to read the Daily Express ever again. Why the fuck did you do that to begin with? Why were you doing that in the first place? I just randomly went on it and I scrolled down and I saw Egypt shot claim. Evidence is in front of our eyes that periods were built by aliens. Hmm. We literally know how the pyramids are built now. Aliens. Aliens. No, it's not aliens. It's fucking <laughs> aliens. aliens. It's no, it's aliens. Okay, it's Egyptian it's aliens then. Stuff. Listen, I saw it on Philip the Franco, so it must be real. <laughs> Yeah, well, I saw it, an ancient alien. Oh, you know what I should have used for the first place in the Nationals? An Autozam. No because shit. Because that was oh, built yeah. by aliens, wasn't it? What, the Autozam? Yeah. Or Probably. Autozam, beep, Autozam, beep, Autozam, Autozam. It, is it weird that I actually really want an AZ-1? No. No. I do too. I mean... Oh, is that it? car regal on the road? <coughs> I've seen cappuccinos here before, so AZ1 shouldn't be too. There's a cappuccino up my street. Yeah, they'd sold them here buy it. locally. Fucking buy it. No, why would you? Actually, no. A cappuccino is probably the closest thing you can get to a motorcycle in a car. Uh, you do no, know the, the Robin. Robin. You do know the the Reliant exists, right? No, I mean as in like a, a car, not a paraplegic mobile. <laughs> a fucking mobility scooter. Yeah. It's basically what well, I was Then again, I guess it was basically what Suzuki, Suzuki Cappuccino is. Yeah. Oh shit. Or buy a Daihatsu thing... Copen if you don't have that much money. <laughs> oh yeah, the Copen. Oh, that's oh, another okay. great. That's another great I've... title. Hello? I have learnt something about the Starlet. You got to admit that's another great title I've got. Being a tiny ass little car, it has a lot of body roll. Yes. Well, that's embarrassing. What's up? Hello. It is Thander. I came back after a bit, passed out for a little while. Oh, nice. You did you did oh, the you small sleep. sleep? It's fine, you really nice. didn't miss much. Great job, Arena. Um hey. All you've missed is that Emil has gone around a track a couple yeah. times. Yeah, not right, much. seven to be in fact. <laughs> no, much he's gone around the... exactly twice. As far as I know, not much is really going on <laughs> right anyways. Uh, Apart from the race. I think my roommate's got a girlfriend now or something. Oh, Oops. shit. Does that mean I'm moving out? I can't wait, can't wait for her to be disappointed. I don't know. Wait, which roommate? The main one. Oh, Bellend. Con? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. How she in the can... hell? There you go, actually. <coughs> Why don't he just get her to replace you? I don't know if that's the plan. Eh, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Fucking hope it is. Yeah, hope it is. Well, if, that, if, if that is the plan. <laughs> yeah, if that I works out, that's... Gone. There you go. He'll finally oh, have something useful in his life. Hey, Thunder, I've had a bad <laughs> idea. I had a bad idea for Gran Turismo 2. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Using the TVR Speed 12 at Laguna Seca for the endurance. You're a retard. 
Have fun. I really am. Have no, fun buying. No, 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 you. If you gotta, you, Actually, you gotta remember. Remember, I used the fucking what's it called? Espacif one. Yes, I used that. I'm an idiot. I use this me and Bruce. This. Oh, no, I used it for Laguna so Seca. Well. It was. I was fucking miserable. No, I used the Espasa form for something in GT2. I can't remember what. How can you use that thing for an injury? Oh, it's easy. I, it's yes. quick as fuck. It just doesn't. Because it's a fucking minivan, it just doesn't turn. It's not a minivan. Exactly. Though. It is it's a minivan. Van. It is. No, it's, it's not. An, it's a van with seats. No, it's not. Okay, fine. It's an F1 car with a carbon fiber, like fiberglass, carbon fiber, whatever body shell that looks vaguely like yeah, a Renault. Yeah, it's Espace. actually an F1 car. It's just got a fake Espace <laughs> body on it. It's also in got one seat. It's in it. an it's an Espace. Uh, like it's got four seats. I don't know. I think oh, it only has it? like one or two. It has. I saw some footage spats. of it being driven. I mean, yeah, it's a silhouette car, basically. It's got full. It's got four seats. Yes, yeah, Azza. <laughs> Ninjas won the eSports Player of the Year award. Oh, oh Ninja. Shit. You mean the guy who, was just, who we saw a minute ago just complaining about that fucking skin thing? Oh, yeah. He's not a fucking eSportist. Hey, um. He's not Lotus. a Kia. Yeah. Lotus. Four seeds. What? Without memeing, do you actually know who Ninja is? Barely. Yeah. Uh, we watched a clip earlier. It's amazing. It's in response to but it's probably buried now. Where he, uh, oh, fucking, yeah. he found out someone else has got a skin in Fortnite, and he started freaking out. Like a petulant uh, child. He's one of those guys. Yep. He's literally yes. like, oh, there's a... What was the name of the guy? Summit or something? Yeah. Oh, there's a Summit. Oh, yeah, Summit. Yeah, he's like, oh, there's a Summit skin. He's yeah. just like, oh, okay. And he's just like, uh, yeah, Emil. it's a Summit I, uh... skin. And he's just like, no, there isn't. He's just like, oh, it's got one G on. It's got one G written on it. He's like, no, it isn't. Oh my god, it is. And then he started like throwing a fucking tantrum. It's like, fucking. It? it was amazing. A wanker. He's a fucking. He's a fucking arrogant shithead. Yeah. Oh yeah, Emil. I um. He has got a cool ass setup, though. I like the TV idea. Okay, <clears> maybe he's got. He's got a cool setup, but the only reason why he's mainstream is because he played with. What was it again? Drake. Drake. Yeah, who then ignored him, the, and then wasn't that the ninja that's was the like, rapper? Oh my right? god, he unfollowed yeah. me on Twitter. How much of a disgrace he, it is! It's like, didn't what? he? Didn't he admit to using Drake though? Yeah, but Drake used him. That's the whole point of partnerships. That's how they work. He's <laughs> the player of the year. That's by the way, how collaborations work. You basically use each other to gain each other's audience. That's how it works. Exactly. I mean, uh, that's yeah. how it works. That's why I did fucking Demolition Racer with Thunder. We had fun with it, but at the end of the day, we are kind of using each other. Yeah. That's the way oh, it works. Really? That's, 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 that's why I'm on here. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That's You're trying to boost reason. your profile. Everyone is here. I that's don't fine. mean yeah. that's of using. Four. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. like corporate cynical using, but at the end of the day, it's a similar thing. Good news. Hmm. I've, just oh, seen no, a, I've just seen a tweet from Rhino GT4. Oh, oh shit! Does it, does it Great. Say, anyway, listened to a song about a detachable penis, and he's now questioning his life. Oh damn! Uh, Tell him to detach the penis okay. and see if the song was right. There was. A hey, I got a question. Mm -hmm. Go Why does the Stratos in GT2 have an apostrophe in its name? Because it's I don't know. Because it's the Stratos kind of. Kind of. It's the Stratos, but not really. Yeah, exactly. And tweeted at him. What did you say? Um. Emil told me to ask you to touch your penis and see how that changes your life. <laughs> oh, Jesus. A easier way to reply. Eagerly. You know, if you. If there is a way you could detach penises, penis theft would be an actual issue. Oh, it is an way. issue. Um, like yeah, one it's called day chopping China, yeah, in China. Yeah, in China it happens. What? Ass. There's a guy who lost his little <laughs> finger fighting off free, free penis thieves. Oh god. He, that sounds like the worst Scooby Doo director VHS film. I rolled Scooby over my lawn and 
You oh, rolled over your wall. I rolled over my pad up and landed on a fence. Nice. Fantastic. Damn. I've got to be up at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Why? So, oops. Oof. Hospital, Oof. doctors, whatever fuck. Oh yeah, what? you're dying. I am dying, still. You're He's dying. Got... Actually, He's is dying. this the first episode post-death? Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Wait. <laughs> am I missing something? Yeah. Honey? Post-death? Yeah. Emil is dying. Emil is dying of penis cancer. There you go. Yeah, he's dying. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pina colada. Not penis cancer. Well, fine on me. Took him long Pe enough. Penis. <clears throat> yes, I've got to tell someone who doesn't really care. I. It's not doing anything really. What? What isn't? Um, the penis regrowth. Pills. Yeah, the penis regrowth. Uh. Yeah. Who's uh, yeah. playing Xbox in the background? Huh? Hey? Who's been put? Hey, pretty sure I heard Xbox. Back. The fucking. Didn't yep. You? What? Yeah. This Whatever it is, it ain't me. <clears throat> oh fuck! It's okay, not... Google. It's... <clears throat> Is Viagra or Cialis? I'm trying to ruin everyone's life who's watching this video. Why? Okay, Google, search Undertale R34. Oh no. Oh no. Right, keep going. My Google is not happy. For certain oh, guys, like the. F it's, the most, it's like the one thing that's like really infuriating about the way. Oh no! It. Ah! Oh! What's it the wrong thing that's really infuriating? I'm curious. Thunder. Thunder. Um, the I... way I get the best audio quality out of the, the headset mic that I use is a different thing. This thing usually plugs into like a little USB dongle. Mm. Yeah. The only pr problem is that kind of compresses the microphone a bit. Though it, though, that being said, it does work a lot better in terms of cancelling out background noise. Right. So, I've been having the issue where if I play things just a little bit too loud with my usual setup with this, uh, you can hear what I'm doing. Yeah, that's why... Sure. That's why Lotus was hearing Xbox sounds. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because of a video I'm watching. So I fucked it. Well, I thought, I thought Google Voice only recognized my voice when I was ill laying in bed. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, and now I've googled on tail R34. How oh, no. So you're gonna get. <laughs> 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 he didn't even mean to this. So you're sorry, what? Tell me with the piss Oh off. my god! So you're getting pictures of Nissan Skylines in Undertale. What? <laughs> I, I just I said okay, Google, <laughs> tell 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 me what the piss off is, and it recognizes it as tell me all the piss off. <laughs> it must be how you speak. Clearly. Um, Wait, you're, up, you're up north. Sure, it wouldn't recognise you anyway. I'm not up north. I'm Midlands. You cunt. Yeah, but you're more up north than that fucking southern bellend. Well, yeah. Because he's southern. Yeah, Weirdo. Fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got one communist. The other person's very, very north. Oh, I'm a communist. <coughs> I like communism. Mm. It's actually a pretty yeah. good idea. Oh yeah, it's, it's, good, it's good to know. It's good to know someone would rather slaughter millions because. Don't I had to thingy. I had a fascinating watch on the treadmill today. Oh, Did God. it have a habit of sickle? Right? <laughs> no, I got to watch the BBC News talk about neo Nazis. Oh good. Oh. <laughs> and then pictures of Jeremy Corbyn showed up. It's like, oh, that's accurate. Um. <laughs> For fuck's sake! Yeah, they were on about <laughs> Brexit and then I stopped caring. And then they started going on about California on fire and I started caring. Oh, yeah, California. California. Listen, because it's fire, something though. to. Listen, I need something to watch, right? And they have TVs on the fucking things. It's great, you get to watch TV while you just go for a run or walk. That sounds good. You, well, you go for a what walk, not a run. That sounds hot. I don't have that at my gym. You don't? 
No, I have a loudspeaker playing shit music. Oh, we had Ooh. shit music today. Oh god. We had rap it was a rap day apparently. It was oh. 90s throwback day on Friday and it was rap day today. So as soon as I walked in, all I get is Snoop D O Double G Snoop Dog <laughs> Yes There was Snoop Dog oh, weed, they should they should have fucking played Dogs Turismo free. Yeah. <laughs> the best, the, the, best also, game. by the way, when all the neo-Nazi shit was going on, on the television, yeah. fucking uh, Tupac changes came on and I was like, that's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. But yeah, you, know, you can watch DW, YouTube and go, scroll Twitter on them and shit, but I'm like, I may as well just use my phone for that. You don't go to a gym called DW, do you? No. Good. That place, is, those places are fucking expensive. I go to a local one. It's yeah, got it's a name, cool. but... Well, it's actually got a proper name. I think it's owned by a company. I've got a little fucking card. Pure gym. Is it called 24-7? No, it's not. It? Uh, fucking Pure Gym. I'm not a fucking... Uh, I can't go to Pure Gym anyway. Why? Well, there's a personal reason I can't go to Pure Gym, but my official reason that I tell everyone else is because it's just full of fuckboys. He got banned. No, uh. someone I know goes there. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, that. Trying to avoid that. Um, in I fact, everyone at work go goes to. there, so I'm like, I may as well just go to a different one. And yeah, fair play. Yeah, I did go to your gym until I, and then I just stopped because, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I go with into... other people, so it's like, it's... yeah, I go on my own. I just most go to the times. same thing. I go on my own most times. Oh, well, I've got family members here too. If I go on my own, I'll. Which I might start doing occasionally when I'm bored, just to go on the treadmill, because the treadmill's pretty easy. I don't need to lose any fat, I just like being on it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Because it's fun. Yeah, you also get your legs yeah. worked out a bit. I'm a bit pissed off, because I could have done more today. The meal's gotta work on the thighs. Yeah. I'm a bit <laughs> pissed off today, because I could have done more, but my shoulder's still fucked from Friday. And it's sort yeah, of a... No, you couldn't have done more. It Thunder, did you just say he's grown a condom, so? No, he needs to no. work on his. No, he said he needs to work on his thighs. Apparently, I know, apparently, thigh. apparently, it is leg day on Wednesday, so. You see, the gym I go to is local, but it's closer to me. And my friends go there, so. Oh, ours is local. Like, Why literally down the road, local. Why is local when it's called the barn? The barn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can tell you live in fucking south southern England, can't you? Little fucking farmer's boy. Yeehaw, mama, I went to a gym! <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeehaw! I'll drive a truck! I'll drive a truck! Yeehawk! I fucked my Ford F-150 SVT Raptor! <laughs> With absolutely the trim package and the decals. The sad thing is, oh, I really surely want it's the Silverado. No. No, it's a Don't Raptor. Ram. Wings of Redemption wants a Raptor. That's how you know it's the Raptor. Jesus Christ. Wings of Redemption wanting a Raptor. Was I don't think I've ever heard anyone. I don't think it I've any, heard anyone ever say something along the lines of. I'm gonna fuck my Chevrolet Silverado SST Concept I'm 2002. Quite frankly, I quite frankly, you know what car I think? Fuck. Dodge Ram. Did I use the Silverado? You know I don't think you have. I don't think you did. No, I used no. the SSR. I know that much. Yeah, you used the SSR because oh, yeah, the game pick up a pickup terrorist. I used the SSR for the uh, muscle car cop. Oh yes, muscle car. <laughs> because I kind of wanted Quite to be frankly, Corvettes and Vipers. Well. Wings of Redemption. It's about the muscle is the world's fattest man. Yeah. What about Wings of Redemption? I love speaking about Wings. You know what? You know what car I think he needs? Oh god. That pedal powered Porsche. No, he's got a truck. He's had oh, like fifteen that, trucks. Oh, that one. Only that, thing that's still white cheese and onion crisps. Who he, has? Are we talking about now? Wings of Redemption. No. If you ain't gonna Go donate, get the fuck out, that guy. <laughs> oh. Just type in Weeks of Redemption on YouTube and be prepared for fun. Oh no. I what might lose this. Oh, Wings is amazing. 
Uh, be prepared. Be I'm prepared not here to, to laugh. Talk. I'm not here to have fun. I'll play Black Ops 4 for two and a half thousand dollars. <laughs> There's also like fucking thing. All right, you know what? I'm gonna play Fortnite. But if I don't have 518 subscribers within the next two hours, I'm perma banning you. <laughs> it's like what? What a mad lad. Right. Fucking uh, Wings of Redemption is the best. Thunder can attest to this. Thunder loves wings. Does he though? He loves I mean, Red Bull gives you. I mean, Red Bull gives you wings. You love Wings of Redemption, don't you? Oh, fuck no. Speaking. No, you speaking love of watching Red him Bull. freak the fuck out though. <clears throat> yeah, it's quite funny. Yeah, I like that thing where he cries. There are funnier people. <laughs> yeah, but like, Wings doesn't. Wings isn't intentionally funny. That's the best bit about it. Wings is speaking serious. Of Red, speaking oh, of man. Red Bull, oh, yeah? Ninja. Uh, no. Red Bull was actually sued for that slogan. Yeah, no. Because people Why? actually thought it would give you wings. Oh, is it no, like the, like, like, is it like the Lexus the RX 300? It changes everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that slogan. <laughs> this is... I don't want. I don't want to go go to my home and find that my do front door's been moved. <laughs> no, moved, it's excellent moved. because you'll buy the Lexus and you'll come out the next morning and it'll be a Jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, you'll have an excuse to go. Warm up. You'll have an excuse to go warm up the Jag. Yeah. Oh god, that's no, it. No, my Jag be that guy. Oh my god, that's the best bit about having. You see, Azza, that's why I want a Jag. Because if I buy an XJ6, yes. I can become an ultimate Jag, man. Yeah. I can always set. As I said, I'm gonna buy some leather driving gloves. For the I'm jet. sorry, I hate your child. This car. In Why would you buy leather driving gloves? Because, because if I buy slack. a Jag XJ6, I'm gonna have to get some driving gloves. You're also gonna need a smoke uh, yeah. pipe, a he's hat. Gonna... I've got a flat cap, so. so basically, he's gonna go full character customization in Horizon 4. Yes. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna become... Actually, no. All all Emil needs now is a fucking green morph suit. Remember, it's like RCR said with the Rover 75, if you're going to own a pensioner's car in your 20s, you need to own it. <laughs> and that's the plan. I do really like the XJ6. I would think the XJ6 is a nice looking car. The only problem with the XJ6 is I can't have to the seats. I went for a job interview today. Ah, uh, how did you do that? Quite well. You think you got it? Well, there's four positions available. Oh, How many people went oh that's the actually oh, sick. Uh, about 30, but okay. it's a startup company. I'm going to be earning 16 grand for the first three months and 20 grand after that. Nice. Ah, damn! Are you looking at the XJ6? Uh, yeah. Is it the X350? Uh, look. Bear in mind. Oh, God, the X350. X350? Uh, oh. 2003 to 2009. That's the one I want. That, oh, it's that, that one. Yeah. Pugnant, that repugnant, hideous thing. Yes. <clears throat> Because it's a jag. And also because, uh, again, it only has one major issue. It'll, ha it'll have some jewel it'll have some jewelry in the in a bag right in the boot. But you see, that's all right because you this own a jag. jag. I can rob a Why bank do we keep confusing the X351 with? How how can I keep confusing the X351 Jaguar XJ with the with the Jaguar XF? I've got no idea. Also, I like how it took it an because hour look, and a half to finish the recording the replay. Yeah, they do! Listen. The X350 has just got something about it. It looks cool. And also, it's reliable, unlike the previous generations of XJ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, because they were built they were built out of some, some form of metal. Yeah. Which rough. Quite easily. Oh no, have you heard about the XJ6's one? Yeah! No, I the X350. Actually. Have you heard about the X350's one issue? What? What, the radiator grill? No, it has a corrosion issue. Oh, um, it's, a, it's a chassis corrosion issue, isn't no, it? No, 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 it's better than that. The XJ6 is made of aluminium. That. Yeah, I know. However, oh, it has oh. one major issue. Yeah. They welded it All to steel. It's... Amazing. So the steel rots, <laughs> and then it's there, and then soon enough the aluminium rots. Yeah. <laughs> Good going. 
Apparently, the fun thing is the XJ6 is actually really light. Well, of course it is. It's made almost out of aluminium. Yeah, the Impreza, right, weighs 1,400 kilos. Yeah. An XJ6 weighs 1,600. Ah, oh, okay. <clears throat> and it's almost as quick. It's way quicker. I go from a 105... Well, if I get one. I go from a 105 horsepower 1.5 four cylinder to a 240 horsepower 3 litre V6. You're actually seriously suggesting to yourself that you're going to get an XJ6. Yeah. I mean, I don't blame so two bad decisions. Well, no, here's the issue, Torrent. I can't get an X-Type because the X-Type looks weird. Like, I've, well, the X-Type's just a full Mondeo. The X-Type, I like, I used to think I liked the X-Type, and then I saw one at a dealership, which is the sort of one I go for, like a classic -y saloon one, and I'm like, ugh. Like, if I got a later model wagon, maybe, but I don't really want an X-Type. I can't buy an S-Type. Yeah, the S-Type is just disgusting. I like the rear end of the S-Type a lot, however, I know someone who has an S-Type, and I also have neighbours that have an S-Type, and it's yeah, broken and the fact, it's also, it's also hideous. Yeah. Yeah, and However, then there's a forbidden car. The XJ, ooh, that is a good looking car. Hang and on. it's a proper jack. And the XJ6, and the XJ6 is insurable because it's only 105 Emil, are you also going to buy a set of golf clubs or something? Yes. He's also <laughs> going to buy himself a smoking pipe and yes. maybe a case of beers. A smoking pipe, but, take about, uh, but, not just any, but not just any beers, they'll have to be craft ales. Ew. No, so, I'm not gonna go that far. Um, Emil, <laughs> question: hmm? Do you do tweed? Yes, I, that's the plan. Um, it's got to Emil, yeah. I need to ask you a what question. do you want? <laughs> I'm gonna get a shotgun as well. I think because I think uh, all XJ6 oh, members oh. need a shotgun. <laughs> Emil, a uh, gun mm, boy. Yes, Goshen. If you were to get a pipe, which who would you be, Jeremy or James? Jeremy. <laughs> what? Just put the oh, shove the other end backwards. In your mouth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a 911 Porsche, hop it goes in the back. Yeah, and he's choking on it. And he nearly kills when, himself. I, I, love when, I, I love when when James is just, just smoking his pipe and he have, has that old man look. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, what? And, mean, and he goes to him and he's like, I'm going to tell you something. He pipes I, with the pipe. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't want to tell you something, but I just wanted to point at you with my pipe, and I'll tell you something else, and Jeremy just fucking calls <laughs> <laughs> pipe goes oh god! <laughs> well, man. <mate. laughs> well, yeah. What you done is Sorry, what's wrong with the XJ6? <laughs> the problem is, it's a cruiser. You're gonna be sixty years old by the time you get into it. Yeah, but it's a cruiser. It's got an automatic. But, but, it, it, but, it's, but it's not the new Lexus RX. Except changes everything. Change ev it does not change everything. The GS300 yes. might though. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. At least you won't be going, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I can talk about quantum physics because I have a Lex. Ooh. That just sounds stupid. Oh? Yeah. No, if I own okay. a Lexus, I can, people will be like, what's that? I can go, no, it's if a you Lexus. own a Lexus. No, if you own a Lexus, people are either going to assume A, you're a professor at a bad university, or B, you just bought one because it says Lexus on it. The thing is, every the time someone... look at or, idiot. or you buy one because you don't actually exist. No, here's here's the thing. It's stealth wealth, my friend. People see BMWs, like old five series and old three series, and they're like, eh, whatever. You know, like there was a couple of grand, or they see Mercs and they're like, yeah, a couple of grand. People who see Lexuses usually think they've bought them new for like forty thousand pounds. Okay, why don't you yeah. buy yourself a why don't you buy yourself a Ghibli then? And it's like, do you, you want a fucking Ghibli? Well, Ghiblis are expensive. That's Realistically, if I was going to buy a Maserati, I'd, cool. buy, I'd buy a Gran Turismo because Gran Turismos are legitimately trading at like seven and eight grand now. Yeah, because Maseratis fall off a fucking cliff when it comes to value. Yes, so do Aston Martins that aren't the Signet. Hmm. Well. Not really, but you can still find DB9s for... 25? A DB9? Yeah, they're 25 now. They're becoming the cheapest... Sweet eggs! They're becoming cheaper than DB7s. Well, that's because DB7s are, be are becoming classics. Yeah, exactly. And the DB9 still isn't, so the DB9's cheap now. 
I wonder how long it'll take for the DB11 to appreciate to depreciate. DB11 is well, <laughs> already doing it. Well, hang on, I'm looking at DB11s. I think are under 80 now. Really? Yeah. Aston's what? Fall. DB9. Yeah, they they fall off like a um. Okay. Asteroid coming to All Earth. Right. You got okay. You want another price of a 2005 Aston Martin DB5 or DB9 coupe? Sure. Go for twenty thousand nine hundred and four pounds. Yeah. Where are you finding that one? eBay.co.uk. Ford slash eBay auto. auto. Fucking auto stuff. Uh, well, that was a bad customer joke. I tried. This sort of depends on um, beaches as well because I'm looking at a similar. I'm looking at a similar one here. This is the uh, DB9 on Auto Trader. This has got the sequential gearbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the cheapest. That's thirty-one grand. I think even V8 Vantages are starting to get to like twenties. Well, V8 Vantages were cheap anyway. Yeah, but the thing is, it's usually the the mainstream Astons, the DB7s, the DB9s, uh, DB11s uh, are the ones that fall. The Vanquish. Didn't actually fall that badly, I don't think. I think I figured the out Vanquish why this one's like twenty classic. grand. I don't um, know why the Vanquish is becoming classic. It's very ugly. Uh, I think I figured yeah. out why this particular DB9 I found is twenty nine. It's twenty thousand nine hundred and four pounds. Is it because it's cut D right off? It's an automatic. Yeah, the yeah they are the okay. cheapest. Okay, uh, Aston Martin V8 Vantage from two thousand six, fifty seven thousand miles, manual. How the fuck do you go that far in a V8 Vantage? Took the mirror. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably used for a lot of touring. Yeah. Please note this car is not in daily use and is not displayed on the forecourt. Ah. Oh shit. I also have an unused genuine AM battery conditioning unit. Yeah, they came with them because they knew people would not drive them every day, so they came with battery senders. This came with a lot of options. This came with 7 spoke alloy 19 inch wheels, which are normally 900 pounds. Powerful mirrors, 250. HID headlamps, which is pretty much infrared. But it's still got a Volvo key! Yes! Oh, that's the one issue with the and XJ. It's got, and it's got the Volvo sat nav, which is the most useless thing on the I will planet. say, that's the one thing that puts me off an XJ6 of it. Yep. What? Yep, my internet just like, I saw, itself. Nice. I saw a picture of the XJ6, and I'm like, ooh. The one I was looking at, and then they took a Ooh. picture of the keys, and then I look at the key, and I'm like, "That's legitimately the key they used on Ford Fiestas at the time." Yeah, <laughs> oh man! So I have the I same mean, key it's... as my dad's Fiesta, which I don't particularly want. Yeah, so the key in a V8 Vantage is pretty much a key from a Volvo V40. Or is it? Does he have the Fiesta? Yeah, he has a Fiesta at the moment. Yeah, so the keys for a, for a V8 Vantage are from a from a Volvo V40, probably a, a top spec model. The sat nav is from a Volvo, which is the most useless thing on the planet because it doesn't tell you anything. Yep. All right, I need doing. to see if the internet is fucking working again. I think despite, the en despite the engine coming from oh, an good. XK8 and being uprated, it actually produces less power than the XKR. Yeah, because it's hand built. <laughs> yeah. And hand built is just another way of saying it won't work. A door will fall off. Yeah. Yeah, hand built is just a fancy way of saying it's already broken. Yeah. yeah. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, one of the, one of the no, problems... it's just a, no, it's just a fancy way of saying it just works. Yeah. I, no. The another cars, one of the problems. Hold on. The car's done 153 miles. I'm fairly certain we're well over three quarters of this done now. Yeah. I don't know how the mileage is going to work out on this. Hmm. Another one of the problems with the V8 Vantage is that the engine braces would sometimes come loose. Anyways, you're not that's answering the question. How far have DB11s yeah. fallen? Well, let's have a look. Uh, the previous page. Fucking Auto Trader's website ever works. Just search DB11. What's Auto Trader? What do you expect? Slash Overster. This? This? Um, let's have a look. Oh, well, a brand no. new one is £152,000, right? Yeah. What's the cheapest one? 118 grand. 118. Emil. This is a launch edition. You, okay. Emil, you need to see the fucking... How much were DB11s at launch? About £160,000. Between 150 oh. and 200 if you got options. What's up, Scotian? 
you know that that Ferrari that caught on fire that uh, Hoovy's garage had? Oh, the F three five five, yeah. Oh. Yeah, when uh, Tavares bought it, uh, it, he got Agent Wheels to uh, deliver it to him. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I Agent, saw the video. Yeah, Agent Wheels made a video on it. It was fucking great. <laughs> Why? What did he say? He kept uh, oh, oh, not he was just it up the whole time. It's like, yeah. it's like this he is the... trying... He goes to the fucking the the button. He's like, of course I can't uh, I, I can't uh, show this because. Uh, it, they're they're not working. Ferrari electrics, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever figure out why she made that car catch fire? I don't know. Wasn't it engine problems or something? I think it was fuel or something. Uh, at, at the end of the at the end of the video, Tavares was like holding up his green screen green screen, and it's just like, you know, this car has been on fire, right? And aging wheels is just like, it's been on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right. They're all about twin turbo. To be fair, yeah. Yeah, the 355 does kind of look like it's already been on fire. Yeah. I I just don't understand why Tav's bought that one, because he's got like a load of ambitious plans with it, mind you. I guess what it's... is with Aston Martin and the new advertising campaigns recently? Oh, uh, don't ask me about modern Aston the Martin. Fucking, the fucking animals! That's what, they're, that's what their advertisements are, it's like sharks, tigers, wolves. Yeah, that's what Jack was doing a couple of years ago. Don't That's talk to me about Aston. Don't talk to me about Aston Martin at the moment. You'll just make me sad. I will say how because Aston they're Martin about... Aston Martin went from making beautiful awesome cars, cars, awesome and engines, and now they've just signed away all of their soul. The DB11 is not a good looking car. The DBS new V8 Super Vantage. Legera. The new V8 Vantage is really not a good looking car. The new DBS Super Legera looks great. Oh, the DBS. Okay, right, yeah. The DBS Super Legera okay, from the I'm front. I'm going to put the oven on under it. Okay, it's amazing. From the front end, that thing is sexual. The rear end is a bit. It looks like a Porsche Macan. A bit, yeah. I don't mind the Macan, though. I've seen a. There's a bright blue Macan in this town. I actually like the Macan, mm. I think. It's less offensive to look at than the Cayenne. Yeah, but. It's 225,000 pounds. What, the McCann? No, not the McCann. I was about to say, the McCann's the, like um, 50. There's a Vantage AMR, which I believe is the last edition. Yeah. The GT12's the best Vantage from what I remember. Yeah. I am nice. There's also the GTV8. Back. What did I miss? There's the, What's uh... The there? There's the mm, Bank of Scotland. Which is currently concept right now. What's but concept? The Vanquish Zagato. Oh yeah. I don't like. I don't like the Zagato cars. I like the DB7 Zagato. I don't think I've seen that one. I'm gonna the look at that. The Vanquish Zagato looked a bit weird, like the old, new one. Yeah, I forgot the one Zagato. What did you forget? What the fuck was that four door Aston called? Uh, rapid. The Rapid? No, Vapid. Yeah, the yeah. Rapid. Yeah. There's the Lagonda okay. and the Rapid. Yeah, but Lagonda just long, stopped just put everything in it. Okay. The Rapid was basically I, just the four door DB9. Yeah, yeah but exactly. Man, I want to see it wrong, nice. but I don't mind. Okay, now that I've looked up the. Uh, I think the it was DB7 a hybrid Zagato. version of that as well. Anyways. Oh, God. Really? Oh. Uh, now that I've looked up the DB7 Zagato, hmm? I really like the front end. Yeah, the front end's really nice. The rear end's a bit weird. Yeah, the ass. Um, <laughs> no. It doesn't look as good as a regular DB7. <laughs> but. No. And the DB7 is, for me at least, kind of an eh car to begin with. Oh, I love the way the DB7 looks. The DB7 is just a Jaguar XJS. I don't care. It looks beautiful. What about the V12 Zagato? What about the V12 Zagato? The one based on the one that was in like most of. the in most of the oh, Xbox yeah, 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 that thing's nice. Yes. Wasn't no. that also in the crew? I yeah. I think it was, yeah. Yeah. The best I actually Zagato, both I actually game. Really the, like it. The best looking Zagato gun might be the DB4 Zagato. That thing does look nice. Yeah. Oh that yeah. Is, that is oh gorgeous. yeah, the whole barn fight. Yeah, that thing's just smooth. Oh god. I oh, that, that thing looks build. nice. Yeah. I want to build some... one of those. I found a few problems with the Rapid S. If you ever choose any of accessories, don't. Why? You've Why? got the Le Mans luggage set. 
Yes, I want that. Lemons. Which looks ridiculous. No, I want that in my life. How does it, it look, Torrent? Show us. It's got. It's basically green and brown with the number fifty nine on it. Yeah, great. Want that? With oh. Luggage. That's the luggage. Oh, the oh. carbon fiber engine cover. I want that. That sounds useless. No, I want which that. Is, which is, you know, it's a bit like saying yes. I would like a marble house. No, I want the carbon fiber engine cover next. No, and you then don't. there's the leather next. storage saddle. Yes. No. <laughs> no. What? Right, the here's the issue. Saddle. If you ever if you've ever wondered why I'm not allowed to buy a new car, this is exactly why. Because I would walk into a Honda dealer, put my name down for a Civic, and then they'd give me the option sheet and I would tick everything. Oh. <laughs> because I want everything. You can get everything? You you can everything. get winter tires for this. What? You can get winter tires for a rapide. I don't want them. I do want to come by the engine cover. No, you don't. Listen, you I sure? spec to Porsche Cayman and I paid an extra two grand to have yellow seatbelts. <laughs> the finishing touches it includes a metal gear knob. Want that? Oh, yeah, that's that's just a pass metal gear. You could have wood veneer for Sears. I want that. Oh which yes. Is like, which is like saying I would like bolt. Fake leather jacket. No, I want the wood. Signature seal plaques. Yes. Also, uh, before we forget, quotes to yeah. take, quotes to take out of context with me. What? I want wood or something. Whatever yeah, you I said. Want wood. Veneer is. Do you want up. wood? Torrent, do you want to know why I actually want an XJ6? Why? Because XJ6 or six. Six. Yes. Because it's got a wooden steering wheel. And someone pointed out. <laughs> I fucking oh. hell. My, my stepfather, because I showed him the XJ60 there, I was like, I still like this. And I was going through the pictures of it, and he was just like, I know exactly what you like about this. And I was, he was like, I was like, what? And he was like, that wooden steering wheel makes you hard, doesn't it? I was like, yes. <laughs> yes, it does. So, I feel in that case, then, if you were to say freezing to death, you could just take off the steering wheel and burn it in a fire. Yes. I don't care. The steering wheel is like you... my favourite bit about it because it's like half leather, half wood. Well, it's not. A, it's not a wood steering wheel, then. Yeah, but it's hard. No, but the steering wheel is made of wood. The bits that you grip are leather. The bits that you look at are wood. But it's not a wood steering wheel, then. No. It's a hybrid. It's like how oh, if I buy a Le if I buy a Lexus GS three hundred, I'd legitimately consider getting a wheel swap from a GS four thirty just so I can have the wooden steering wheel. <laughs> I don't blame you. You really are a sixty six year old man. Oh, fake wood or real wood or whatever wood wood in a car should be there. What about what about a steering wheel that's just made entirely of dicks? I feel my impressor. I, I feel in my impressor I should get like some wooden decals. And like oh stick God. it all over the trim pieces. If you do that, <laughs> I'm a, there's, a slo there's a slogan just for a meal now. You want you you this wood here? This wood is nice hard wood. Listen, It'll make your wood hard too. Listen, if I get the option of wood, I want the wood. I mean, I'll put fake wood vinyl in your car, please. No, just I mean, make it will look entire... better than the <laughs> standard Subaru silver fucking plastic shit that looks bad. Put it, put it over like. <laughs> The, oh, the actually, that's a point. I'm back. Are you planning on taking the gearbox out of it? Eventually, maybe. Why? Okay, cool. Uh, you'll earn gearbox. yourself about five quid if you do that. What? <laughs> well, there's a there's a change drawer, and yeah? the change, like the hatch on the door, is a bit too open. So occasionally, when I've tried to pull quid coins out of it, they've slid underneath the door. And like they end up sort of like Why? near the transmission housing, they don't go into it because there's like a protective cover there. But the only way to get to them would be to like pull the gear stick out. So like if you ever want to like make a couple of quid because there's like a load of pound coins down there, there you go. Uh huh. I'll think of that. You can actually see them. <laughs> I'll I'll have to oh show boy. you if you like open the door and like look down, you can see the quids. If you took the door off, you could probably get to them. I'll yeah. probably do that then. So if you ever want a fiver, so there you go. That's a good chippy, alright. Yeah. I um, 
You can have all the change that's in it as well. Because <laughs> it's just full of two pence nice. pieces and then. It's got a cigarette lighter. Wow. It's, would it be possible to just take the fucking radio out entirely? Yes. You can keep it. I don't know. Easily. You can keep it if you want. No. Why not? Okay. Because I'm getting a jag. But you can have a super radio. Right, here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing you're forgetting. Yeah? If that I get a Honda, a I get an Alpine audio system. Okay. Yeah? If I get a Lexus, I get a Mark Levison system. If I get a Jag XJ, I get the sound of wooden speakers. Why would I want a Subaru system? <laughs> because JDM. Shit. It's not that good. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, by the way, you, you don't say the radio, because the radio is the best bit about it. Why? What because it makes. Because it has one of the stupidest quirks I've ever seen. Tell me. When you switch through the menu options on the radio, the beeps get louder for some reason. Oh, God. So it goes Why? beep, 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 beep. <laughs> As you go through the <laughs> options, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'll have to that film does it at some point. Hilarious. I will have to film it at some point. It's hilarious. Because it's like boop, 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 boop. And then it just stops. That's like as you go through like the bass and treble things, even if you don't adjust anything. Also, you can tell it's a Jap Tone. you can tell it's a Japanese stereo. Yeah, because ah. it's Because there's twenty five buttons on it and none of them do anything. Do your power That's win do your power windows work? Yeah, all four. No. Is it a con the fact that you don't it's basically fucking pillarless, your driver door? No. You get used to it. But what But what if you want wind deflectors? You can That's get them. Point. How? Actually, what do they put what do you put I think you oh. mount them to the Oh actually that's a good question. I have seen them before. I think you have to mount them to the you have to mount them a bit weird, but you can get them. <laughs> you said mount. I think you have nah. to stick them like near the rain guttering or something. They're quite weird. Mm. The pillarless stuff doesn't really fuck you over. It's actually quite cool. Why? The only thing you have to remember to do is just open the car with the actual door handles. And mm. shut the car with the doors and not the windows. Although I do shut it on the windows occasionally. Alright, I think I need to get going now. Alright, catch All you Alright, right, man, see ya. See you later. Yeah, I, you I've go. shut it on the window a few times. The window still goes up and down perfectly fine. It makes a bit of a noise, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Windows that. do that. Yeah. The the only time the pillarless thing fucks you over is if you have the window open and you get out the car and shut the door. It does feel a bit weird because it just sounds really hollow. Because it's just like one bit of a door shutting. How much of a problem? How much of a pain do you think it would be to install fog light? Oh, piece of piss. Oh, the wiring. Why the, fuck would I buy fog lights? the wiring's there and everything. Where the fuck it was an optional the... extra. Well, yeah, no shit. The wires are probably there. It's just they. Yeah, the problem is, how much are fucking fog lights for it? Oh, I don't know. You'd probably just have to buy an impressive front bumper on a two liter. Probably a lot of money. Yeah, but those are money. It's cheap. It's a, su it's a Subaru. Everything cosmetics cheap as fuck. <laughs> if if I'm gonna buy a fucking front bumper, I'm gonna hack it to pieces because it's it'll fit. Be... Yeah. Yeah, bad. Again, it's imp I mean, you could literally. There's a reason people make WRX replicas all the time because literally all you have to do is just plug and play. Fair enough. It's easy. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything worth noting on that car. Well, I love how we're just talking about this. Meanwhile, in other Gran Turismo game, I'm driving the fucking the the overrated Subaru. The 22 fucking 22B. Yeah. The 220B. The t yeah. <laughs> Those wheels look fucking horrible, by the way. Which ones? Um, seven spokes. Oh. The wheels on the Impreza look weird. You're probably gonna change those though. So. Yeah, I want to take your, the fucking. If you want a tip, if you go on 17, stick WRX brakes on it. Why? Why? Because you can do, and the standard brakes are shit. Oh, fair enough. Do I want to go on 17s? Well, that's 17s. What's on a WRX, and 18s are what's on an STI. So. I could fucking plastic dip those wheels. That would be easy. Yeah, there's only they're only fifteens though. 
And is 15 enough for you? The alloys are actually uh, in good condition, to be fair. Emil, I don't think you understand what a super infect is made for. Going off road. Yeah, true. Actually, if you, leave, if you leave the tyres the way they are, the tyres are cheap as fuck. How much? My, the Kumos were 40 quid. Oh, fucking hell, I'll leave them for that then. They're like, I'm trying to remember what the wheel size is. That's a lot of money. I think it's 195, 55 R15s. Jesus. They're 195s or 175s, I can't remember. That's pretty good. Two things that strike you as very odd when you see the Imperazzo. Hmm? It's... the If you see one in real life, the bonnet's a lot longer than you'd expect it to be. And yeah, it's yeah. also a lot narrower than you'd expect it to be. This is true. As in, it's like legitimately only like 1600 millimeters wide. As long as I can sleep in the back, I'll be. Yeah, you can sleep in the back, don't you? Maybe you could live in a suit. Maybe you could Again, live in people one. People in my family seem to think it's the biggest car we have, so I guess that's something. Even though, like, the what Master 6 do? is legitimately way bigger. What would I do to. Ah, uh, yes. Trying to think, because it's a car that I actually want to make look good. It looks fine as it is. Yeah, but I could improve it by you. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Just small things. Like, does your car have a boot spoiler? Uh, yes. Oh, they have one stock. They have like a little oh. lip. Is it? It's too. It's small. legitimately the same as the WRX wagon. I'm fairly certain. Oh, okay. You've already done the WX, WRX light, so I don't need to <laughs> Which are exactly that. the same as regular lights, but they came from an 06 WRX, so... Hey. What's the diff... There's none. Oh. I have the other lights hey. in the back of the car if you want to plug and play and switch them oh. around. Egg. I'll have one of each. Uh, big. Yeah, the only difference is one's fogged up to shit and the other one's got condensation all the way around it. Egg. Um... I don't think anything else. I mean, cosmetically, it's sort of... It looks good, it's just... I'll take it, you get... I'll take it if it pats you on the edges. It's one... Yeah, it's one of those things where it's sort of... It looks better the further you get away from it. Once you get close to it and really start inspecting it, there's a couple of little nicks. They, none of it I've done. It's all came as that. I wouldn't care if you did it. There's a scratch over the... Right, I'm just trying to remember. There's a scratch over the front wheel arch. Easy. On the passenger side. There's a small dent on the driver's side. I think that might have been me. I can't remember. I didn't crash it into anything. I... Is it at all noticeable? Uh, it's only noticeable when the light hits it. Ah, uh, yeah. It's My not a biggie, though. There's a, definitely a dent on the rear panel, which irritates the shit out of me, but again, that's the one that you only really notice if you look through it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rear bumper is a bit tatty, just because it's had people loading stuff in and out, in and out, in and out. And also, it's still got the battle marks from where a mini crashed into it. <gasps> Ooh, that's a story! Yeah, where a Polish woman in a mini crashed into the back of it. And then she was very the old mini. and give me a hug, and she had a massive breast, so it's all good. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, which which generation mini was it? Was it the original one? I <laughs> I got crushed into it. You care about what mini it was? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, I bet it was probably like the. I bet it was probably like the fucking early two thousand one. It was. It was cream. <laughs> you don't happen to have. I'm fairly certain it was problem. cream because the color on the back of the bumper is cream. So, so it either had a diesel engine or the amazing TriTech engine. I think it had the uh, the amazing Chrysler Rover. It was a petrol. I think it was full of. Again, it was a Polish woman and, like, men. Yeah. Was it supercharged? I... I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> My Imprenza got crashed oh. into! <laughs> and I had to replace you the exhaust system. You don't care. It, the exhaust crashed exhaust into and the driver of the, per driver of the Mini had a massive tits, so it was okay. Oh, you got... <laughs> she was very pretty, so it was all good. 
The exhaust isn't obnoxiously loud, is it? No. God, no. I just think... It legitimately just... sounds like stock, but it's a little bit louder than it was. I'll take it's that. It's just like fucking... But it's, it's like still... That... Legitimately, I'm not joking. That was the one thing that freaked me the fuck out with that car at first. <laughs> it's it's just, the it's quietest like... idling car I have ever heard. Fair enough. Like, it legitimately... On the stock exhaust, it was slightly better. But originally, like, you legitimately couldn't hear it. Like, if you, unless you went round the back of it and physically, like, put your ear to the exhaust, you couldn't hear it. Now, if you go round the back of it, you can hear it a little bit more. But legitimately, it's still, like, the quietest idling car once it's at temperature you've ever heard in your life. You can't even tell it's running. It's great. I kind of want to debadge it, but then everyone will... Uh, I wouldn't. It. It does, oh, actually, that's like... the thing you can do if you want some cosmetic tips. What? Uh, it needs a new rear boot badge. Why? Because it's getting old. And? Like, the stars of Pelodies have got chips and shit. Oh, well. I'm just giving you I ideas. I think that everyone would think that I'm trying to pretend that it's not a 1.5. You can't tell it's a 1.5. There's no 1.5 badges on it. Yeah, exactly, but... It literally has the same badges that every Impreza has. It just says Subaru, and then on the back end of it, it says Impreza. Do you know the? Uh, there's only one way you can tell uh, between a 1.5 and a 2 litre? The bonnet? No. Oh. Size of the exhaust. That's the only difference. The I'll 2 litre R has an oval you. exhaust, the 1.5 has a circular. Other than that, you cannot tell. I'll just wait for my mate to bin his... Two litre into a tree and just Unless buy you part look the way. wheels. I think the wheels are different as well. But yeah, but if I'm you do a I'll wheel swap, no one can tell. I'll probably plaster it those because they look nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, actually, the stock wheels are nice. It's just occasionally when you. Like, they look like wheels I'd put on a car in Underground 2 if I was building some of that didn't look like a pile of shit. The problem is, they. it worries me a bit with you because I'm. Also, by the way, I don't think this is 200 miles. See, as if this was, if this was, if it was from Underground 2, it would probably be fucking, it would probably be fucking spinners. Hell yeah. Yeah. Big sound system in the back. What do you want yeah. about that? And it would, and like, the spinners oh. would be like, dollar signs. You still insist Subarus go off-road, right? Kinda. Okay. I've got a sneaking suspicion you're probably gonna put some lower, lowering springs on it. It's a Subaru, why the fuck would I do that? Uh, <laughs> wait until you see the way it's proportioned. Because uh, on the tiny wheels, and on that ride height, it does look a bit wonky. Like, I don't even like lowering cars, and I'd probably say it needs bringing down about an inch. Subarus are meant to go off-road. They release the B or Z. Not anymore. But I mean, if you want to still take it off road, it's a good idea. Well, yeah. But I'd either increase off the size of the wheels or drop it slightly. If I, I'd, prob I'd probably prefer to drop it slightly. If I wanted it. to go for full cosmetic bro satyrs. If I had to drop, it, if I had to do one, I'd drop it. I like them. They're very nice. Mm. I'm trying to think of anything else that you can really do. That's fun. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably replace the audio system if I was you, just because I know the audio file. I'll take the fucking uh, The headlights probably need restoring at some point, but that's not a major Easy issue. Job. Easy job. Yeah. Um, I'd put something in the front bumper if I was you. What do you mean, in? Well, I only realised the other day, the radiator is set really far back, but the front bumper doesn't actually have, like, a grill or anything. Mm, yeah, I so see it just that. So anything that goes in there heads straight for the radiator. There's nothing I'll there. Just, I'll just print off a picture of, of a fake front mount in the cooler. Well, apparently it's quite a common thing in WRXs for people to just stick a little mesh grill there. Oh, yeah. And they I'd do look better if you just stick, like, a little meshy in there, so that might be an idea. That's like well, a ten pound job. Yeah, easy. Your choices are. Oh yeah, we got nitrous to burn. Let's do that. Fair enough. Also, 
to confirm this will not be a 200 mile race. Also to confirm, this was easy. Oh, fuck. What? <laughs> I hyped it up a bit, didn't I? What? How many, many miles off are we? We're gonna be about five, I think. Good going. I feel, I feel like, I feel like maybe it would be, would have been more accurate if it was like in kilometers, being like... Actually, mm -hmm. I don't one more thing. Shoot. Oh shit, your coal and fuel economy. Terrible. Oh. But... Can't be that bad. Um... The fine... Not that bad. Um, being able to make a 60 mile, mile round trip involving a bit of motorway without, like, going down too much. It's 250 miles to a tank. That's alright. And it's 40 quid a tank. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah. That's been much Legitimately, I, I think it's getting about 20 miles per gallon. Now, on a motorway, it could probably do better. I do have to admit, on a motorway, I do drop gears and shit, and it's had the aircon running basically the entire way through the summer, and it has the... <coughs> it's got a few weird quirks. Oh, there's one thing. What? The side mm. window has a window defogger. Like, that oh, little wow. weird side wagon window has, like, a heated window bit. That's pretty cool. On one side. Not on the other side for some reason, but on the... Pass that's on the side that you'd shoulders check. It has a little heated window bit. Okay, actually, that's pretty cool. Hold on. Also, to confirm, the answer is it's a hundred and ninety-four miles. Nice. And one hundred seventy-two aspect points. Nice. Motorsports release: the Shelby Series One got third, Speed Six got fourth, TVR T three fifty C in fifth, and the Mercedes SL sixty five rounds off the leaderboard. Yeah, the motorsports are least apparently no way near the issue we thought it'd be. Also, I'm fairly certain the other 200 miles race ended at 194 miles. The New York. I'd have to go back and watch that, though. Hey. Anyways, 250 grand, and let's go find out what the prize car is. I have legitimately no idea because it's been about four months since I looked at the prize car sheet. This is going to be good. Watch it be shit. Well, it's going to be it's anything, gonna be... really. It's oh, good. hello! <laughs> oh, hey, it's, a, oh, hey, it's oh, this wow. car! I like that no. car. Why is that not in GT Sport? I'd I play GT know. Sport if that because was. If it. Because if people had. Because if they had any old race cars, there's gonna be like. that. There's gonna be that car who's like, oh, it's too old, it's not supposed to be in this class. Oh, Jesus. Anyways. Yeah, there are people who are actually like that. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't surprise me. Anyways, 98.8% completion. We will one day get to the glorious heights of 99%. Anyways, is it under Minolta or...? Yeah, it's Minolta. Okay. M, 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 M. Uh, there. Okay, we are going to use this at some point because it's a cool car. I mean, look at it. Hey. It's fucking sweet. Yes. It's actually the car you can kind of break the game with a little bit. If you want an LMP car for the GT All-Stars early, Provided you can get to 25%, best idea, beat El Capitan, get them in Alta, and you can beat the All-Stars. Or Is it All-Stars? Or is it Gran Turismo World Championships? I don't know, but you can beat the 24. You can beat the Nurburgring 24 with it. Either. Yeah, you can pretty much do... Oh boy. The Minolta's a pretty good car for, like, if you want to get through the game as quick as possible, i.e. as long as you don't mind just getting to 25% pretty quickly. The Minolta can be one of your go-to cars. It's pretty good. Anyways, that's it for this episode. 98.8% completion, 7,258 A-spec miles, 4,653 B-spec miles. Of course, we did not use B-spec in this race, but I have a feeling we will use B-spec next time because next time it's going to be a much longer endurance as we take a look at the Motegi 8 hours. Join us for that. Until then, farewell. <laughs>